Are you okay? Hello? Okay, I was kind of worried. Are you okay? The other one's like a lot tighter. Well, you could have your matches my outfit and I love it. Okay, anyways, one second. One second. I'm switching you guys over to a different tripod. Um, hello. Okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, one second. One second. I'm getting it. Don't you worry. All right, there we go. All right. Come and help Braxton carry me out of the tree because I was so scared. I think, I don't know how I climbed it. I honestly don't. And then the second time I climbed a tree near my neighborhood and I got stuck. Like I was either gonna drop my stream stuff or I was gonna fall and I couldn't decide which one I cared about more. And so um, there was this guy walking by on the road and I was like, hey, can you help me? And I was just wanted him to hold something for me and he literally looked at me and kept walking as if I was like a crazy fucking lady. So, yeah. I'm trying to see how far I can come up to the camera that you guys can see me. All right, chat. Everyone knows that oil makes things more slippery. Fatty oil in the scourge. Sorry. <laughs> All right, all right. Oh my God, there's soap in my eyes. Motherfucker. set up like in a way that I just don't even know how to <laughs> move it but I had it set up earlier like farther back so you guys could see this really pretty bridge and like all the surroundings but I feel really weird when I'm like super far from the camera because I just I don't know I feel like I can't talk to you guys like you can't hear me or something <laughs> I, it feels very impersonal <laughs> impersonable What's your favorite color should have paid? I got all the colors actually. You can have any option you want. They're all here. That guy was a weirdo. So he walked up. Love your energy. Three, two. Love you, bye. Why can't I see my chat? Well, wait, thanks, Snakey. You're so sweet. Robert, thank you. Hydra shots. You're so fucking late. How dare you? I have been sitting in this car all day. My camera just didn't want to turn on, honestly. <laughs> Why are you mean to me? I just got here. Dubol, thank you. Swebs, hello. Jaxius, hello. Varth, hello. I see you. Guys, how's your day going so far? I um, was really excited 
to get here and stream and I go to start and my fucking AT&T uh, modem that I use for data bonding wasn't charged. So um, I'm sitting here while it charges in the truck, I guess, until until it gets some of a charge so that we can like go out and do things. We thought it was charging, but for some reason it wasn't in the backpack. <sighs> but dog, hello, how are you? Why are you always in a car or something? Uh, that is absolutely the most untrue statement I've ever heard in my life. I am not always in a car. Most of the time I'm outside in fucking nature. I'm always outside, I'm always doing something. Um, maybe you're just coming in at times where I'm sitting in a car, but I can't help that you only come in at those times because I definitely do other things. But dog, how's your day? Theo, hello, how are you? Why, uh, beep booksy, how's it going tribe? I'm doing well. I'm a little bummed that I got started latest today, but I don't really know what was going on. It just took me so long to like get all my stuff together today. It's like, I have a new setup now with streaming. And so I literally would like go out to the car and be like, okay, I'm ready to go. And then I would be like, fuck, I don't have my power bank. So I'd run back in and then I'd be like, fuck, I don't have my tripod. Fuck, I don't have this. Fuck, I don't have that. And I kept like running back and forth. I was like, oh my gosh, when am I, when am I going to figure this out to where it's smooth? Ah, uh, dude, but I'm excited to see you two back to Olivia 1.0 with two hours of toxic car stream. Oh, back to American um, coming in here and not ever coming and saying hi to me and then comes in and talks mad shit. American, you're not even going to compliment me on my new fucking beautiful setup. You're not going to compliment me on all the badass things I've been doing on stream. Oh, wait, you haven't been here. You don't know about it. You're just coming in talking mad shit about me talking in my car. I'm sorry that I have to charge things. I'm sorry that life isn't easy. I'm sorry I don't sit at a desktop all day and stream it's not just easy you know I was a little bit hard American have you tried it would you know about it you want to talk to me about it fuck you add one to the counter Jaxius hello IRL travel streamer yeah American my ma getting mad at a travel streamer for sitting in her car headstand in car don't fucking play me don't fucking play me don't fucking play me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Like your life. So thank you, Varth. Is it still 73 like it was four hours ago when you posted? It's 72 now. Um, how are you, Super Cajun? How's your day? All right, I'm putting you guys in the back seat because I don't think you can see me doing a headstand in the front seat if you guys are up here. How the fuck am I supposed to put you here? Is this it? Is this it? Is this it? Guys, I was so fucking tempted today to turn off my VODs and clips. I was so tempted because I really wanted to have music today, but I went against my better judgment. Hello, Liv and Chatters. How are things today? Mopar, things are well. I like yesterday's One Wheel Adventure B stream. I charged my One Wheel up today. Originally, I was like, I'm not going to ride it. And it was dead. And then I was getting ready. I was like, fuck it. I'll charge it. Because if it becomes low tide, then maybe I do want to ride it, you know? Maybe I am feeling that. So it's nice to have options. All right. I don't think you guys are ready for what you just asked for. Honestly, Sila Grown, hello, uh, Stacks. Things going well. Things are always well on my side of town. I'm working, just dropping in. Silent Grown, who gave you permission to do things other than hang out with me? I haven't been here. Wasn't you no streaming for two weeks? I broke my phone while streaming. 
I'm sorry that I take you guys to do cool things on stream and sometimes it breaks my phone. You know, I could do desktop streams and not drop my desktop in the ocean, but you know what? No, I do IRL, so I go out and I do cool things and sometimes it breaks my fucking shit and then you're gonna punish me for taking time off because my devices were broken because I couldn't do things. I was the one that tortured. I'm the one who drove to North Carolina and wanted to stream it and couldn't because I didn't have a fucking setup to do so. Don't talk to me. Excuse me. How dare you? You tell him, little shorty, back me up, boy. Back me up. Love this bikini top. This isn't my bikini top. I'm not wearing my bikini. My bikini's sitting over there. I brought a bikini, but I'm gonna go to Ron John's, I think, if this fucking thing. <gasps> Setup required. It turned on. Ah! It turned on. I think I'm gonna let it charge for a minute while we chill in the car a little bit longer. I was waiting for this to turn on. But, anyways. I brought a bathing suit because I think I might buy a bathing suit at Ron John's, even though I totally don't need one, but I haven't bought a bikini from Ron John's in like a few months, and it is time, okay? It is time. Go, go, live, get them. American's gonna cry. Thank you for apologizing to American. He's very important to us. I love American. That's why I go off on him. People ask me to go off on them, and I'm like, do I love you enough to hate you? No. All right. Ah! Oh, fuck! Oh! Okay. I am balancing. My legs are not touching anything, but they have nowhere to go! Okay. They had nowhere to go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A real streamer, have you gone to space yet? Basically, I've been that high before on stream, definitely. Alex, you bitch! Just play music, then delete VOD. Then I would just turn off VOD and clips. It's the same point that I just made earlier. I want my VODs and my clips so that... I can reminisce on the good times later tonight when I'm bored, when Braxton's playing some video game, ignoring me, you know, I can, I can look back and be like, wow, that was fun. What am I eating? I'm really hungry because I got food earlier, but I forgot to eat it before I left. I do that sometimes. I'll go and get food in the morning. And then I'll get back and be like, man, I really need to get ready for stream. So I'll leave my food sitting there and then I'll get ready. And then once I get ready, I'm like, oh, I should go stream. I'll leave my food sitting there. I left my fucking food sitting there. So I was really hungry and I had these peanut butter pretzel nuggets in my car. Oh my God. So good. My grandpa used to eat these. He was diabetic and he was on to something. They're solid, solid protein people. 700, what's up? I'm doing decent, I'm sorry to hear you're so frustrated. It's a process, just take it slow and have faith. It will come together. I mean, I was frustrated because I thought that I couldn't stream when that was dead, but then Braxton, like, he didn't tell me at first that I could stream. He was just like, oh, just wait a while. And he's like really quiet. And I have to interrogate Braxton to, like, figure out things. So I was like, so, like, do I need to wait? Like, what am I doing? Like, is it even worth streaming? And he's like, oh, no, you can still stream. You just need to, like, chill in the car. I'm so like, oh, so I can stream. And he's like, yeah. And I'm, like, sitting there fucking frustrated. And he's like, oh, no, you can stream. You just need to, like, wait before you go out and do things so that you have good signal for the rest of the day. I'm like, well, I'll be damned. Oh, he's calling me. Speaking of the devil. Hello. Um, so I'm putting you on speaker. It just turned on, actually. Okay. So should I do that still? Yeah, look at the great, uh, I found it. You found it? Yeah. 
Okay. I'm doing it. Love you, bye. Alright, apparently the actual charger for the hotspot is in the truck. <laughs> so instead of like slow charging it with the one that we use for the backpack, this should charge it quickly. Oh my god, guys. I had to buy that power inverter that I just plugged this into. Uh -huh. This is not the first one that I've owned because I had one before and it was sitting on the floor of my truck and I got Chipotle and the Chipotle was hella juicy. I put the Chipotle down on, I have like all weather mats on the floor. I like just put the Chipotle on the ground and apparently it was sitting on the fucking, um, What's, I just said the name of that thing and now I forgot it. Power inverter. Anyway, I sat it on top and all of a sudden I was like, I picked it up and I was like, hmm, that's juicy. It probably shouldn't sit on the power inverter. So I was like, hmm, let me move that. And I like tossed it to the back of the car. And this is when we were like living out of the car. So there was like a bunch of shit in it. And all of a sudden the freaking power inverter, like I hear a noise. It was like pop, pop. And I look back and the power inverter's right next to my face. And all of a sudden I see sparks fly. And I freak the fuck out and I scream and I get out of the car. And Braxton, he like, he's smart. So he like unplugs it and like, you know saves the car from catching on fire but I honestly thought the car was gonna blow like the moment I saw sparks next to my face I was like it's going down we're yelling timber you better move you better dance let's make the night that was impressive oh I can do way cooler what are all the cabinets on the roof of the car um this is a sunglass thing oh, wait hold on it's a work truck, so there's just a lot. This, like, I think they can put in a TV thing. This is a, um, sunglass holder. This is a sunglass holder. This is, uh, oh. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, it has cards there. And, um, when shrooms stream, when I go somewhere where shrooms are illegal. How about that? Alex, what are you up today? No play non-copyright music. What's a non-copyright music? Wait, isn't T-Pain non-copyright? Or something? Opcop, hello, Braxton ignores you. Braxton never ignores me unless, like, it's on accident. He's actually pretty good about being there. I'm actually worse about ignoring him, but I don't, like, do it on purpose. It's only if he's, like being annoying to me and I'm like trying to do something if I'm like driving or something and he's calling me like I am very ADHD I cannot do I I am good at multitasking except for when it comes to driving and it's like my life is on the line and other people's lives is, are on the line like I should just pay attention and just do driving so um if he's like calling me and just like talking to me and asking me to equip me questions and I'm like driving somewhere and I'm also following directions or something, I'm just like, bro, I gotta go. Bye. Um, or I'll just like ignore his calls. <laughs> or if I'm grocery shopping or something or shopping in any store and I'm like really thinking and I'm planning on spending some money, I also won't answer his phone calls because A, he's going to stress me out about the amount that I'm spending and B, he's just not going to be helpful to like the situation of helping me get out of the fucking store, you know? PB pretzel nuggets, oh my god, girl, I love to eat those. They're so good. Are you still using extreme elements? Looks like the far work alerts aren't working as intended. Guys, can you tell that American just hasn't been here? Can anyone just raise their hand in chat if they can tell that American has not been here? American. American. I bought a gun run backpack. I am not using that anymore. I am using a gun run backpack, okay? I have a live view. I have a whole thing server that's like $175 I have to pay for a fucking month and a bunch of other bullshit okay I'm not using stream elements anymore okay the alerts might not be working as you created them because we're using a different app where have you been <sighs> where I'm beginning to understand how the desktop ended up in the ocean what? I, I, my phone did, not a desktop. Hustler, hello. Gentle reminder, guys. Love yourself. Y'all are the best. Spread love. Thanks, Amsh. 
TRP, hello, how are you? So you ignore Brax when it's both sporting and fun for you, got it? Is that not how you ignore people? I think that there is a, where did I lose my nuggies? All right, found them. I think that sometimes you just have to just cut people out. And sometimes people, you can tell people like, hey, I need a break. Like, it's too fucking much right now. Like, just, I need to be me by myself and that's it. No one else involved. And sometimes people don't fucking get that. And, you know, after you've expressed yourself and you've made it clear what's going on, then it is okay to fucking ignore people if they don't respect that. Because you just gotta be like, bro, I gotta worry about myself. You're doing way too fucking much right now. Not speaking from today's experience whatsoever. Not speaking from anything recent. But you still have to use some streaming app, right? Don't show me because I can bite you back on this one. Made a donation goal two years ago and never bought. Yeah, but I bought a phone that cost the same amount. And I spent a ridiculous amount of money. American, you're trying to brag on me for the amount that let me all right let me let me explain to you guys i'm not i'm not asking for nothing i don't come here no days asking for nothing okay there are a lot of streamers who i watch on twitch who all they fucking do is ask for shit i hate that shit it's so cringy to me i will never do that to you guys i might put a donation goal at the bottom sometimes you know i might be like hey you know the setup is really shit you know guys stream a lot and it'd be nice to just like pay for a phone plan you know from streaming you know that's that's all we ask but most of the time don't even fucking do that I've all I always go and do something else and make the money and I put more money into my twitch streams than I make guaranteed and you want to know how I know Garen fucking teeth because you can look up how much twitch streamers made it was fucking link okay I have more expensive equipment that I have used for streaming than I have ever made hands down the only reason it evens out is because I make other money Money from doing other things and thankfully equipment is tax write-offs okay American don't get me started do you want to know the most subs I have ever had at one time on twitch was like 300 and this was when I was streaming like 50 60 hours a week so don't fucking come for me American talking about nothing okay you want to talk about fair no go away go away she's throwing shots it's because american loves to bash on me every time he's here and then he asks me questions i answer and then i don't fucking know but i always tell you have goals even if you just pay for data you guys wouldn't pay for it though i don't put goals because here's the thing i'm not this is what I'm trying to say. If When people talk about this, people get mad. But I'm literally not asking for anything. Like, I literally do pay for all my shit on my own. I literally just upgraded. But then you want to come in and act like that. That's a little That's a little rude. That's a little fucked up. Because I definitely, definitely don't get what I put into it. And that's okay. Because streaming is, like, my passion. It's something that... I've always, even when it's like not paid for itself, I've just gone and got another job and streamed on the side when I can. It's because I enjoy doing it. I've broken a million of my phones streaming. And what do I do? I go and buy the new, the best phone I can for streaming again, even though it's ridiculously expensive. And even though the phone costs more than I make in like half a year on fucking Twitch. And then you want to brag on me? Fuck you. Add it to the counter. Are you drunk? No. American's pissing me off like he always does. Streamers who don't ask don't get. Well, some streamers get. The thing is, like, I get in other places and I just don't like asking for it on Twitch because also, like, I feel like I haven't been treated the best from Twitch either. So the fact that, like, whenever I make money on Twitch, it, like, also directly benefits Twitch. It just is, like, sometimes it feels like... I would just go and rather make it somewhere else where I feel like I'm more accepted on the platform. San, what's up? If I was in the car, I would let out an egg fart. I'm good. I, I don't want to roll down my windows. 
this stream is not fake. Is this a cooking stream? Are you guys dumb? Bruh, hello. JKB, hello. Peanut butter pretzels are fire. I got other snacks too. I also got, I was really hungry. I thought, ah, Braxton told me I was going to have to sit in the car for a while, so I got snacks. Um, I got a white macadamia pretzel or cookie, but I'm not going to eat it because the pretzels have been doing, doing just fine. Feeling them. And then I also got chili pistachios because, okay, these are so overpriced these days. It's like $10 for a big one of these, and I love them, and I normally buy them. But lately, I can't even find them. I'm like, where the fuck are my overpriced nuts? Like, who else is buying these stupidly overpriced nuts? I thought I was the only one, but I haven't been able to find them, and I saw them at the gas station, so I got them. And then I got squeezy water, because squeezy water is better than regular water. And, mm -hmm, I love this so much. I discovered the sparkling water recently, and it has a little bit of caffeine. How much caffeine does it have? Let's see. Uh, mm, I don't know. It has black tea in it, so. Because I obviously need caffeine, always. I like letting out peanut butter farts. What does a peanut butter fart smell like? Can I send you a dono? I think it's in my panels, in my bio. How should you be treated by Twitch? I literally don't think that I should be treated any way by Twitch other than I would just like to not be like, have my account randomly suspended for things that are like inconsistent. That is my only ask. I do not ask for anything else. I don't, I saw that someone like posted on Twitter. They were like, oh my God, I've been seeing that streamers were complaining that they don't get paid leave from Twitch. I'm like, I don't know how it works, but, um, yeah, I don't ask anything from Twitch other than, you know, just not getting banned for wearing like my booty shorts or something when I'm out and about in Florida where everyone else is wearing them and it's literally my attire. Every literal ever pair of shorts that I own right now, I like have to question for stream. That's right, D-Ray. Ramos, that's right. We popping off. Cookies from 7-Eleven? They are. How did you know? Did you see a 7-Eleven there? There are other places you've been holding out. What do you mean? 7-Eleven bake stuff is actually mad good. Dude, they have these rolls. What are they called? To 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 tostitos? Tostados? No. They're these wraps and they I don't know. I haven't got them, but Braxton always gets them and they are like cheese and something and I'm pretty sure they're fried, but they're solid. They're straight fire. They always have like Honestly, 7-Eleven, they even have donuts. 7-Eleven kills it. I always thought, though, that 7-Eleven was a gas station, and this one is not a gas station. And I was out of gas, so I had to find a gas station, and I had to go there. Two separate trips. <coughs> Don't drop them. Don't drop what? My pretzels? I would be very sad, American. this car looks like from Pornhub. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Wasn't me. Maybe someone else had it. But I mean, someone did have my truck before me. My truck had like 70,000 miles. I like to believe it was like a man, a, a middle-aged man who drove it really well. He lived in central Florida away from the ocean. And he got every every maintenance done on it. I highly doubt that he was making porn. But you never know. I don't know. Maybe. Put some Taco Bell hot sauce on them pretzels. Ew. My favorite's mild. What's your favorite Taco Bell hot sauce? I used to only do Verde. Like, I used to not fuck with anything spicy. And then when Braxton and I started hanging out, he was like, you have to eat wings. And I was like, I do. I eat boneless barbecue wings. And he's like, no, you do not eat wings. You have to eat bone-in, and they have to be spicy, and you have to do it fucking now. So, I learned to do it. I actually like hot wings now. And since then, mild is my shit, not verde. Verde is boring and whatevs. Tax write off, you have a content creator LLC. How does that work? 
basically any equipment that you use for work you can write it off if it's like it's it's a lot to explain I go to H&R Block and like they help me with everything um it took me a long time how to figure out doing my taxes as a self-employed person. It was a fucking struggle the first few years. It took me my first year doing my taxes, like, not just streaming, but, like, after I started picking up, like, doing other things as well. I have, like, I get multiple forms that I have, like, money come from. Like, I have multiple places, and it was super confusing and I remember it took me like two weeks to figure out all of my write-offs and figure out like my mileage write-offs and food write-offs. What's up, Liv? The Ant Man! I'm just chilling. I'm waiting for, I, I thought this was charging last night and it wasn't. So we're waiting for this to charge. Um, so I can go and walk around at the beach. I was originally going to get here and go into Ron John's and look for a new bikini because I was kind of feeling a new bikini. And then I was going to go to the beach. But depending on how long this takes, I might not go to Ron John's. I might just put on a bikini that I have because there's a lot of people there. And I don't know, like, I want to go to the beach more than I want to go there. You know? You know? 7-Eleven donuts are amazing. Are they better than, like, Dunkin' Donuts? I don't know. I, I'm not a big donut person. <laughs> I do like donuts, though. What are your intellectual interests, if any? Um, well, school-wise, I am doing business marketing and social media. I feel like I don't learn that much at the college. I mean, I take it seriously, and I mean, I guess I do learn things, but I feel like I've learned more businessy things that have been beneficial to me, more from just like doing my own things and talking to other people who are like self-employed and learning about what they do. Um, that looks so much like Braxton's dad struck. Anyways, um, other than that. I, I really get into like environmental stuff and yeah, environmental, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> What's up Liv? The Ant Man, not much, just chilling, waiting for things to charge, enjoying my day. How's your day? Nuggets are real good. They're yummy. So American, did you leave me again? Or are you just not talking to me? I feel like we're having like a fucking fight. I feel like we're like a married couple who you're going to sleep on the couch and we're not going to talk. And I feel like we need to talk about it. Are you in chat? <laughs> John, hello. Happy Sunday to you. We should hit up wings. I'm not that hungry. I was more snacky. I don't want to go get food. I have food at home that I left. <sighs> Brazilian drivers are the best because we are moved by genuine hate. Don't you guys, like, take up, like, a, have, like, a million people in a lane or something? I don't know. Just checking if you're co coughing after COVID is better. I mean, it's been a while since I've had COVID, so I think I'm, for the most part, better. However, I do feel like my lung health is not, like, as good as it was before I had COVID. Like, I still feel like I can do anything. I could sign up for a fucking marathon or whatever. I'd probably die, but I feel like I could do it. However, I feel like my lungs just felt healthier beforehand. Like, sometimes if I smoke a lot of weed, I feel like I kind of have more asthma than when I used to smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Describe the smell in this vehicle. It smells like strawberry sex wax. The best for your stick. Never spoils. I got new flavors recently too. Look. I got... I got a bunch more strawberry because it's my favorite. Yummy, yummy. And then I got this one, which is grape, and I'm pretty excited about it because I've never bought grape. Oh, more strawberry. And I found this cute sailfish sticker. 
that says Ron John's and then they give these to you every time you go and you get them for free. And I literally have a bajillion of them. What the fuck? Oh, never mind. I thought I bought something in here that I didn't know I bought. <laughs> never mind. When you go off on American, don't forget to call him Moderator Baby Face. Okay. He's mad at me because he's not talking. Is he not? Is he still here? This is so annoying. He comes in here mad at me, and I can tell when people are mad at me, and when people are mad at me, it makes me mad at them. I'm not even, I came here with a good attitude. I was happy. I was feeling nothing but love for chat. I, the only bad thing that has happened in my day was this fucking thing, and the creeper dude from somewhere that I'm not going to say where was flirting with me and he was being creepy and I had to tell him off and block him. Only two bad things have happened today and they weren't related to American and now they all are around American. Karish, hello. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Jason from Brazil. Oi, how are you? Thank you for your answer. Sounds good. Thanks, Tsunabi. Where's the Bud Light? I actually don't do beer or... I don't really do alcohol hardly ever to begin with but I'm definitely not a beer girl like I do not like how it makes me feel I feel like it makes me feel bloated I feel like I'm full way before I'm ever drunk um I like the taste of cider but it's literally just for taste like it's like drinking a Sprite that's heavily has a lot of calories and sugar and shit so I don't really like that and then liquor I sometimes do but only socially like I will not drink by myself because I am pretty convinced that if I did start drinking by myself that I would become a terrible alcoholic and I get mean if I drink the wrong things and my dad's a mean alcoholic so honestly like I'm good um but I do partake in the Mary Jane she's a friend Hi, let's say some good things for, ah, uh, I got you. John, yes, of course, love your windshield. Thanks, it's uh, nice and big. I feel like I can see well out of it, nice and high up. This truck is great, I feel like I can see everyone. I can run people off the road, I have a lot of power. Also, I have a massive hitch. No one tailgates me these days, and it's fucking lovely. People used to make me feel when I had my Subaru that they were trying to run me off the road. Now people give me fucking respect, and I'm like, yes, I have a big dick, and I will fucking put it inside you if you don't move! Yep. I have to try Jack Honey Lemonade. What the fuck is that? All right, how charged is this? God, guys, I'm fucking with things. Why am I fucking with things? I shouldn't be fucking with this. I'm scared. I'm gonna break something. Super gay should help. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, what combo did I just walk into? Welcome to the club. Welcome to the jungle. Um. I don't know what conversation you just walked into. It's probably me, me being a bitch because apparently it's me today, according to American. <gasps> Call Braxton. I'm joking. I didn't fuck anything up. Everything's good. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. We got this. My name is Joe. Last name King. Joe King. All right. Nice to meet you. Woo! Cheers, boys. It's sparkling water. Don't freak out, Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. What's my tattoo? It says, it's better to be absolutely ridiculous rather than absolutely boring. It is a quote by Marilyn Monroe. Um, the whole quote, I think, is 
Madness is genius, and perfection is beauty, and it's better to be absolutely ridiculous rather than absolutely boring. I feel like Marilyn, she had some bomb quotes, and that is one of them. How much is diesel in Florida? Well, I don't have diesel right now. I used to. Uh, so I don't know. I'm going to guess, though. 380. Someone check me. All right. So this cord is supposed to go through that hole. Is that what's supposed to be happening? I'm lost, bro. Is this cord supposed to go through that hole? I think so. All right. I'm doing it. No one can stop me. All right. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. All right. It goes this way. All right, all right, all right, and this goes here. Liv, please don't unplug anything, you bitch. I would so unplug something on accident. I did that yesterday, actually. Okay, I think maybe, maybe baby. All right, this is charging. That cord is ran the way it's supposed to. We are chilling still. We're just a chilling just a chillin' here, can't go nowhere because somebody dropped the ball and didn't co charge the things that were supposed to be charged. Cheers, Liv6. Thanks, Johnny. Jaxius, I love you, boo. I mean, you were saying rock on, but I'm telling you I love you because you're great. Who did you block me? Wait, what? I would never block you. Certification! Speaking of, you were asking me, I told you I was trying to tag you in the memes that I stole from you on Discord. I stole memes from Supercation. I posted them on my story yesterday because they were the funniest things. And I was trying to tag them on Instagram, and it wouldn't let me tag them. I'm like, what the fuck? I message Supercation on Instagram all the time. So then I had to go and, like, find your username, and then, like, I find it, and I type it, and it still wasn't letting me tag you. And I'm like, what in the Fuck. So I went to his page and it said requested. Do you know how long ago I requested it? Do you know how many times I've messaged Supercation? Do you know how long it has taken him to figure this shit out? Am I not important enough to you? I follow maybe 200 something people on Instagram. I'm actually kind of selective and I chose to follow you and you can't give me the fucking, the you have the audacity not to add me back and I have camped in your front yard I went and had food in with you I bidet beignets beignets I didn't have food in with you but I went and got food in because of you I don't feel the love and respect that I want to be feeling today Bronte hello or some other cream now I was talking about you. Sparkling water in a can. Cans are good because they're recyclable. 100%. And yes, it's bomb. And it has caffeine in it. It's by the brand Aha. Uh -huh. And it's uh -huh, so good. Live daddy did daddy did what's good. Element, glad to see you. I'm so happy to see you. How are you today? What makes the pack live six? I mean the different components. So the, the backpack... I bought this backpack from a streamer named Emery, and uh, she bought it because she wanted to do blah, blah, blah. she wanted to do IRL, but it, like wasn't worth it for her. She only did it like twice, and she was like, "Yeah, I'm good." So I bought everything. It's like basically just like the way Gunrun builds the backpack, except for where I let her. She kept the like Nighthawk routers and stuff like the modems that come with it normally. Um, so I bought my own Nightgear Nighthawk router, and then I also have a Verizon hotspot. Um, so I'm using both of those right now. I'm only data bonding two plans right now, but I ordered these dongle thingy things, and I should have my four plans set up by hopefully the end of this week, maybe. Um, the power bank that I'm using is the Max uh, Oak Power Bank. It's like a 50,000 uh, milliamp power bank and then I'm using the live you solo I'm paying for the same uh the server that daily dasher uses I can't remember what it's called but I asked him I can tell you hold on I messaged him on twitter let's see 
uh, IRL toolkit. That's like the thing that I'm using. Um, and then I think that's it, right? That's, that's everything I think. Let's say you have Discord. Yes! Exclamation Discord, boo boo. I got you. There you go. There you go. You should make a checklist of your gear to check before and after streaming to avoid concerns. Yeah, honestly, if I just leave, like, my tripod in the truck, that would save me a lot of hassle. It took me forever to find my tripod. I don't know why the fuck I brought it in. I had no plans of streaming inside my camper last night, but I couldn't find the freaking tripod. I also couldn't find my wallet because... A lot of times Braxton chauffeurs me and I just like never have a wallet so I was like uh, I need an ID so I can drive and not get arrested thanks um <coughs> the other issue was that I thought that my Netgear hotspot was charging uh, whenever my backpack like the power bank and stuff was charging but for some reason I don't know, I guess like the cord that I had it plugged in with wasn't giving enough power or something, so I need to make a point to like separately plug this in at night so that we can do things. I told you I added you. Oh, I'm sorry. You never confirmed. I have to confirm your ad? What? Let me go. Let me see. Ryan. Ah! I can see you! Yay! I'm your one follower. You have, you're following people and you post things, but you don't let other people follow you. Is that the case? Am I, I'm your only follower? I feel so special right now. You actually post fun stuff. Why am I your only follower? Why, what's, what's going on here? Liv, I'm your ugh, daddy ding. What do you post? What do you post? I did it for you because I want to hear about it for 15 years. Supercation, I would literally bring it up until I stop streaming. And I'm probably going to stream into my old age because I'm probably going to be like some crazy old lady who's like, you know, doesn't want to like knit sweaters by herself. So I'll be having some old, old, old daddies up in chat. They're going to be, they're going to be wealthy daddies that hang out with me in chat. And it's going to be great. Is this bang bus? The fuck are you talking about? Radic, thank you. What have you? Thank you, Boofin. Did you figure out what lyrics yet or nah? Out lyrics. What the fuck says the lyrics? Dongle dongle. I think that's what those things are called that you stick the phone plan thingies into so that I can stream. I think they're called dongles. I kept calling them dinghies earlier. And Braxton's like, no. <laughs> You're a sweetheart. Thank you, Duval. Lipstick, I saw your picture you post on Instagram. I love it. <gasps> Guys, thank you, John. If exclamation Instagram and chat, if you haven't checked out my Instagram, I posted a new picture. I got a while back this shirt from REI, and it's like a, I don't know if it's from a national park. I don't know. Anyways, it's a national park shirt. It has, it lists all of them on the back, and I've been checking them off as I go. I think... Yeah, that shirt is, like, completely updated to, like, right now. You can't see, but I do have Yosemite ch uh, checked off on it. But you guys should go look at my Instagram post and tell me what national parks we've gone to together because I, I marked all of them. And I also post on my Twitter, if you don't do Instagram, uh, exclamation Twitter. They're all lipsticks. Oh, see, hello. Sorry, shameless self-promotion king. Hello, holy Jesus, you answer. You are the answer to all of Toyota's marking queries. <laughs> Guys, I could uh, totally be a great saleswoman. I would know nothing about a truck, but I've been told by multiple people that I'd be a great saleswoman. I would just bullshit. I would just be hella fucking, like, bubbly and just be like, come on, let's go for a ride. And be like, oh my god, this truck would look so good on you. Like, ugh, it doesn't it sound so when it turns on and stuff they would be like yes I want this fucking truck I'd make them feel so hot in that truck isn't that hella and comfy I mean I laid the chair back and um I mean I'm literally just sitting here I'm a small girl and this truck is very large this is my favorite thing about this truck by the way 
the amount of space that I have in here is insane. I can do literal somersaults from the front to the back. Don't make me fucking do it. I can do fucking headstands as proven earlier. Don't fucking try me, bitch. Don't fucking try me, bitch. Don't fucking try me, bitch. All right, hold on, chat. If I break my neck. I think my neck's supposed to bend this way. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. I think I set my face down weird. Okay. Ah! Woohoo! Alright. <sighs> the boobs want to go out, but they're not out. They're good. We're good. Alright, no one freak out. Oopsies. I closed my chat. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. Is my hair messed up? live in her 80s just knitting something hey re what's good i started insta but i just got spam all the time so i napped out wait spam all the time who the fuck spammed you you mean like people you followed just posted too much or you were getting like ads or something i feel like i don't get spam i go on instagram i feel like i'm on instagram a lot these days i used to barely go on it I used to like only go on it to post but I don't know I've been like purposely trying to make new friends on Instagram and it's actually been nice because I've actually hung out with people um but I was just like damn I'm like so antisocial these days like when I first started streaming I didn't know anyone who streamed so I was like constantly going and trying to meet other streamers and stuff and then, like, after COVID and, like, all these, like, events getting canceled, I just kind of, like, stopped interacting with people and just only you guys. And finally, I was like, I should try to make new friends. And I have. And I feel like it's been more enjoyable being on Instagram. Also, I haven't been getting my posts removed as often. Not found one. <laughs> Speaker Salamas, hello. Cyber thing, hello. How are you? How is your day? Your insta's fire. Thank you, Boofin. I feel like I need to switch on my Instagram. I was looking at it this morning, like when I after I posted, I was like, fuck, my last like five pictures are all like just peach focused. <laughs> I should uh, do something more, I don't know. Braxton and I, tomorrow we're going and we're going to hang out with this girl. I'm going to stream with her. Her name's Allison. She's super fun. And I'm going to be doing like a collab shoot with her that I'm pretty, I'm pretty hyped for. Jesse, hello. Okay, hi. Hello. How are you? Mama, where can I get the National Park sh shirt? I got it at REI. Um, so I don't know if you can still order it. It was kind of it was a while ago, but girls can sell trucks. Yes. Why are you so strong, Liv? I used to dance. I'm not as strong as I once was. I should drive around the parking lot. Yeah, and then I'll get banned. I could go f two miles per hour on this parking lot, and they'd be like, oh my god, reckless endangerment, driving, sexual conduct. People got popped a boner from your illegalness. Two bans, gone for good. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't break the truck. This truck is tough, okay? This truck is a work truck. This is what I like about this truck. Look at these big girthy knobs. Don't you like how girthy it is? You just want to grab onto it and you know it's so fucking strong and it can just do whatever you want. You can turn it up however hard you want to go. You want to go harder? You want to go faster? Oh, oh. Simmer down. Simmer down. Simmer down. Cool things down. Cool things down. Heat it up. What you want? What you want, chat? Let me go on Instagram to perv on newly re released motorcycle media. You know what's funny that you mentioned that is that I was going through my uh, Discord channels recently, and I was like trying to update my Discord and like clean up the chat rooms and stuff like that, like rename things. And I was going to delete the moto porn. Uh, category because you're like the only person who posts in it and I was like just trying to make it more I don't know I was just like people could just post like motorcycle stuff in general chat if they want to so I was gonna delete it but uh, decided to keep it just for you 
so you're welcome. Occasionally deal with live message. <gasps> say vacation! Don't say you have to deal with my messages. Say that you're honored to receive them. How dare you? And that you bow down to your computer when you get them before you respond. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Cyber, hello. Mega, hello. I'm sorry, postcard. What pose? Don't say my. Don't act like. Wait. You mean something a while ago, right? Oh, you scared me. I was like, girl, what? The new one's not even anything. Ugh, you scared me, Karen. How's your day going? Do you live in your truck? I live out of a camper that I pull with my truck. I used to live out of my Subaru Outback with a rooftop tent. Then I, when you would say, like, do you live out of your car, I would say yes. I was, like, very homeless then. Now I have a camper, and I feel a lot less homeless. Like, honestly... I have more space than I could ever need. I chill so hard in my camper. And there's this booth in my camper that it's like either a booth where, you know, like you sit at and you have food or you like, I have my little laptop and I do things. I also have a desktop in there, which is fucking chill. But also I can turn the booth into this bed and like I have a bed in my, my bedroom in my camper, but something about the booth bed, dude, oh my God, it's so fucking cozy put on some Netflix. I always have that thing turned into a bed. The first thing I do when I come into my camper is I take off all my clothes and I just get into my booth bed and I put on all my blankies and then I put up these like twinkle lights and they're so peaceful and cute and I just lay there and play on my phone and I put music on and my camper has a fucking speaker that I can connect my phone to. It's so chill. <laughs> Big girthy knobs are the best. Mmm. Mmm. You are way too funny, girl. Thank you. You gonna delete? No, I didn't delete your motorcycle porn. I left it just for you. You have to love me now. Big man, I love you hanging out with me. Thank you so much. I'm an, it's an honor to be here. Jesse Green, it's an honor for me to have you here. I feel so special. Guys, as soon as this charges to, let's see. Oh my God. I wonder like how much I need to wait for this to charge. I was going to say once it gets to half, we're just going to go to the beach, but I mean, my God, it feel, I feel like it's not moving that much and we only have two hours of sun. Like how much charge do I really need? I'm streaming right now with one modem. <sighs> I don't know. I'll chill for a little bit longer and try to be patient, but I'm really like itching for the beach. I'm here. What the fuck? I don't need to be sitting in my truck, but I am. <gasps> Why? What is the weather? It is sunny. It is 72 degrees out in Florida. It is nice and sunny and warm. It's also humid. If you were to go for a jog, you'd be sweating your tushy cheeks off. But the beach is lovely because there's like a nice breeze and, you know, it's nice. If you ever interacted in Motor Porn Channel, I wouldn't be the only one. The only thing is like, okay, you post motorcycle porn of like all these motorcycles that you're into and that you're looking at. And I, like, I was interested in watching all of the motorcycle videos before I bought my motorcycle. But now that I have mine, I don't like watching other videos about new motorcycles because it gives me like some sort of like motorcycle fever. And I feel like I need to go and buy that bike that I'm watching the video on, or I need to go and ride it. And no one fucking lets me ride bikes unless I fucking buy it because they're sexist. So yeah, I just don't really care because like, I don't know. I think if it, I was watching, like, if you're not posting motorcycle reviews, if you were posting, like, off-roading vlogs, I fucking get down for motorcycle off-roading vlogs. I love that shit. Or, I don't know, people who do, like, big rides where they're, like, road tripping or something. That one girl who road trips and she goes, like, crazy places, she's interesting. But I don't care to just watch, like, review videos on motorcycles. I can't be bothered with filling my head with knowledge that's not even about my own bike. People are going to ask me a question about my bike. I'm going to tell them something dumb because I just regurgitate the info that you guys tell me. You know, I'm just kidding. I can't wait to be a Florida man. Ooh, are you going to sniff bath salts and I don't know. I was going to say something bad. <laughs> my deepest apologies wasn't subscribed to your Insta. I mean, you just have to follow it. You don't have to subscribe to my Instagram, but yes, you should definitely go and follow it. Thank you. 
how's your truck bigger than my apartment? My truck could probably, probably pull your uh, apartment. <coughs> By the way, chat. So, if you were here yesterday, hold on. Let me go and get my facts ready for you. So, yesterday, someone in chat, whoever you were, you can shout yourselves out now. Brilliant, brilliant, master brain, Einstein in chat, had the idea that I should fill my truck bed with a tarp and tarp as a liner and fill it with water and do a truck bed a hot tub pool thing. And I wouldn't be from Florida if I wasn't so down for that. <laughs> Fuck, man. So I was like, shit, I'm gonna get some American flags. We're gonna get some Bud Lights. Like, I don't really do that, but we're gonna do it. Like, I was full on ready to full send this shit. I was gonna write on the back of my windshield with Mark. Actually, I'm saying I was going to. I'm still doing this. I'm still doing it. But I did some research on this because. You know, Super Cajun expressed some concerns, and as much as I like to be Super Cajun, you're an old man, like, stop being such a worry war. Blah, blah, blah. Sometimes when Super Cajun says things, I, you know, go and look into it. Anyways, so I looked into it, and first of all, I posted this on my uh, Instagram story. It's a picture of people in a truck bed and with their little pool and it says i got my toes in the water ass on the bed not a worry in the world oh crap my suspension is dead <laughs> anyways so i saw that my toyota tundra the max payload capacity is uh 14 or 1480 pounds and then so that's like what my truck bed can hold and then apparently a bed full of water like if I was to full fill my truck bed to the top it would weigh basically 4,000 pounds 3,912 pounds so if I only filled my truck bed halfway then it would be like two that basically what I have deducted is that I can do it but we can only fill my truck bed to like a quarter of the way with water and because I also have to count for my weight and I have to be very careful to get good tarp so that the water doesn't get in places where it shouldn't go so that it doesn't cause like rusting you know and things like that but yeah <sighs> you don't have to watch just post the sex thing is lame that's a Florida thing sexist thing is lame yeah oh you're saying if I would have bought a motorcycle in Louisiana they would have let me test drive it first because, I don't know, they didn't let me at, at any of the places I looked at motorcycles in Florida. They never let me touch drive. Maybe if you didn't smell like mar medical marijuana. Okay, first of all, marijuana all smells the same. You can't tell the difference between the medical stuff and the real stuff, super occasion. Secondly, I would never smoke marijuana before going and looking at a motorcycle I would definitely smoke marijuana thank you manual if I sold bikes I would let you ride them oh you you sold mattresses did you let them ride the mattresses before they bought them let us I just add you on discord thanks John we can chat off stream now boop, boop. <laughs> Followed you on Instagram. Big man, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Guys, I've been posting like every day on my Instagram. I've been really good about it. And they're all professional pictures, except for that one selfie I think I've posted a few times. But most of the time I don't. Damn, that's a cute bathing suit, girl. Take sexy pics with Tipsy, with Tipsy, and post in Discord. Who the fuck is Tipsy? The fuck is a tipsy 7500 IQ you're talking about me that's the most flourish shit I've ever heard but you're from Ohio I was born in Ohio I've lived in Florida my whole life Americano get the fuck out of here with this where's the accent from I don't know I don't know I don't think I sound like people from Ohio I think I sound more like people from Florida but also people from Florida sound like a bunch of different things because no one's actually from here so it's like half Texan, half Florida man. I've never... Okay, I have been to Texas, but I've only been to Texas one time. I think that... Okay, my dad 
I I didn't notice it when I was younger. My mom doesn't have like a southern accent to me at all. I think my accent's a little bit like of a southern twang, which I don't want to admit to. But you know what? I've had to listen to myself a lot through the years, and I this is what I've come up with. Okay. Anyways, I think my dad has a little bit of the southern sound, um, and as much as I hate it, here we are. I like it for other people. Don't get me wrong. If you have a southern accent, I fuck with it hard. I find it hot. But on myself, I just like to think that there is no accent, that I am just the superior one in all of this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Americans should use kilos, not pounds. Well, we should do a lot of things here that we don't do. <laughs> Blue tarps. It's going to be a black tarp so that it matches my truck bed so that it looks like it's just a truck bed pool. I'm so excited for my truck bed pool. I was thinking about asking the girl, Allison, that I'm going to go stream with in St. Augustine tomorrow. I was thinking about asking her if she wanted to get in my truck bed pool as well. But considering I'm only going to be in like a quarter of water... I just, I want it to be my own water, you know? I want to trust the water that I sit in all day. <clears throat> I think it can do width, length, height, metric, and matches layer. No idea how that works. Well, I didn't do the math for how much the water would weigh in the back of my truck. I looked it up. Someone literally did the math on how much water the Toyota Tundra could hold and yada, 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 yada. put a kiddie pool in the truck bed that would be Braxton said the same thing and I asked him what the point is and he said he was like oh it's so that the water doesn't get in places it shouldn't go and I'm like if I get a good tarp and I just make sure it doesn't spill in it ah! make sure it doesn't spill in it as I spill something what are the odds? Okay, let's just hope nothing breaks or blows up because that was really close to my stream pack pack. Do not tell Braxton that happened. Yesterday, I said that and then someone clipped it and posted it in Discord, which thank God Braxton doesn't keep up with Discord very often, but fuck you and the asshole, whoever you were. Jaxie is, hello. I bet your family was hype as fuck for the Bengals. Okay, I just processed the fact that you're talking about the Super Bowl because I didn't watch it. Um, and I thought for the longest time, I shit you not being from Ohio, I thought that the Bengals were not, first of all, I knew they were an Ohio team, but I did not think that they were professional. I thought that was a college team. So I kept seeing people being like, oh, I'm placing my bet on the Bengals. And I thought it was like a fucking joke. Is it a joke? Is that what you said it? Are you trying to play with me? Or are they a real team? I'm so confused. <laughs> Your dad sounded like a foghorn loghorn. I don't know. Maybe. What the fuck does a foghorn loghorn sound like? You have a valley girl southern accent. That's so weird. That's a Florida thing probably. Only Liv gets to piss in truck water. What? I've never pissed in any water except for the toilet water. Like a civilized human being. Ooh, and definitely in the ocean. Like yesterday on stream. Just kidding. I was just checking the temperature of the water. I totally did not pee in the ocean. That would be disgusting. <laughs> You know, Alex, I will shove this can in your butt and it will not feel well. You saw one guy, one jar? Imagine a can, all right? It don't shatter, all right? It, it holds itself. It just becomes scarier. <laughs> There's a lot of math. Yeah, and I did none of the math because I suck at math. I The only reason I've even considered... Uh, taking my so I only have one class left for my AA and then I can like be done and then I have I'm like 78% done with my bachelor's and the one class I have left is math and the reason I haven't taken it is because I suck at math and it's been so long since I took my last math class and my last math class I had to have fucking chat help me with I would post in discord and be like hey anyone want to help and I literally made a fucking category in discord called lives math, tu math tutors and basically super Cajun got me through it um, thank you, Super Cajun. But the reason I've even considered taking it again is because of you guys. Otherwise, I'd be fucked. Universe is telling you something. It's telling me that I should stay. Actually, Braxton just texted me and told me I could probably walk around now. Should we go? It's 427. 
All right, chat. One in chat. All right, let me explain the sitch. All right, sun goes down in like less than two hours, probably. And originally today, before I had issues where I didn't charge everything, I had to sit here for a while. I thought we would walk to Ron John's and we would buy a new bikini because I love bikini shopping and we would get a bikini and then we would walk to the beach and I would wear my new bikini at the beach. But since we're running low on time, we have the option to where I have a bikini with me that I already own and I can just put that on and we can go down to the beach. So one, to go to Ron John's and pick out a new bikini first and then go to the beach or two in chat. I just put on the one I already have and we just head down to the beach. All right, go. <laughs> Are you allowed to go back to Ohio? No, I'm banned there for good. I'm a criminal. Yes, I can go back. Why would I be allowed to go back? My mugshot's from Florida, guys. Don't worry. I'm a Florida woman. As long as you stay away from Florida, you're good. Our collective IQ is lower than the number of people here. Pineapple! Mine makes up for it. It's okay. I got you guys. Two, two, one, 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 two, sixty-nine. Seven. Really. Do you guys never pay attention to me? Okay, let's see. I have one, two, three, four ones, and I have one, two, three, four twos. Okay, next one or two is the one that I'm doing because I have an, ev an even number. The next one that is put in chat is the one that is happening. One. Okay. Fuck. So you want me to go to Ron John's? Shit. That's not what I was wanting to do. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Seven, two. Super Cajun. Too fucking slow, you nipwad. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. This is fun. This is fun. We will do this. sunglasses and my eyeballs who the fuck is Rod John he got weed I don't know bro I don't think he has weed but I've also never asked and you know it is in Cocoa Beach so there is a possibility there was a uh, massage shop around somewhere around here recently that got like FBI rated that Braxton's friend literally went to he was getting a massage and <clears throat> the lady at the end just started to like touch things that she wasn't supposed to and started just like giving him a happy ending and he says that he told her to stop I don't fucking know he says that he said to stop but apparently the FBI has it all on film because they were they already were suspicious of the place and they set up cameras and so like after he had to like go and yeah I'm not fucking kidding I'm not kidding <laughs> wrong too I know super occasion I can read but you can't apparently you type and shit wrong what's your puffin this evening um what is this one Maui Wowie had apple juice for breakfast, but Maui Wowie for lunch, and I will be having SSI-95 for dinner. <laughs> Raise his hands to head. I'm gonna get ya. Not a happy ending. Well, I don't think he got in trouble, but not a happy ending because he didn't get to finish. It's fucked. Like, here's the thing. I feel like if I went to a massage place and they started to give me a happy ending, I think I will just let them finish because I would be left unsatisfied and also I would just be left wondering, like, would it have been good? Like, now I just feel assaulted because I, like, kind of got fucked with, but then, like, I had to tell them to stop. Like, they just, like, you know, touched me and they shouldn't have. But... If I'm in control and I just let them finish, then I was in control and they didn't do anything I didn't want them to do. So I didn't get, you know, my satisfaction has been cured. Um, I'll just sleep better at night. You know, so I, I'm in jail right now. This is the moral of the story. Robert, what's up? 
I got Maui Wowie 15 minutes ago <laughs> to Wendy's. I told her to stop, but I couldn't fight it. I ended up nutting. Pineapple, actually? Are you joking? Don't lie to me. It was too late, your honor. <laughs> I already came by the time I noticed. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that one. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm the way I am. Hello, troll. I don't know what you expect. Like, if you go into a massage place that's, like, questionably cheap. Actually, wouldn't it be more expensive because you're getting a happy ending? Like, you're getting more from the service? Because, you know, like, I don't know. Is it the expensive ones or the cheap ones you need to be weary about? My back is fucking freezing. Can we not? I swear I'm getting out. I'm supposed to be getting out. I'm ready to get out. I'm just really snacky. It might be the munchies. <laughs> might as well get the whole experience. I'm saying, bro! What's bad and you never finish? You mean like... You run out of time on your massage and you're like, she's like awful, but she's like edging you or something. And you're like really close and then they're like, massage is over and you're like, fuck! That would be unfortunate. Y'all just both cool with being sexually assaulted? I'm joking, Pineapple Menace. This is a joke. And I did not say that. You said that and you're putting words into my mouth. Don't say shit like that. People are going to take that incorrectly. That is not what I just said. What I said was if I was getting a happy ending, I would just take it for research purposes. I don't know what I was saying. I don't know what I was saying. You you lost me. You confused me. Passion, hello. Can you get a refund if it's bad? I actually... The last time I had a massage, I hardly ever get massages when I was younger. I used to go and get them sometimes because I used to play basketball and I have big boobies and it used to like dislocate my rib bones. I'm not fucking kidding you. And I would have to go to a chiropractor and he would pop my, these like bones back into place. And until he did that, I felt like I couldn't breathe. And then he would like really work the, the like muscles under my shoulder blades and around my spine and it would make it feel better for a while. But anyways, I used to go a lot then, and like, those were amazing. Like, I would go in, couldn't breathe, and I would leave leave feeling like a freaking baby. But recently, when I was in California with my sister, we went and got one, and dude, I left in pain. I felt like I was fucked up from it. I was like, dude, I don't think anything good came from this. Like, I felt like shit after. Want to speak to your manager? That hand job was a par. Mark Ann, what's up? Let's all said live to a spa day to fuck with Braxton. I mean, normally it's women, so he probably wouldn't care. Braxton doesn't really care about that. <laughs> no accusation without representation. Yes, without consent. Consent is sexy. Wonder if they would kick you out if you took too long. They would. They would just be like, yo, your massage time is over. You are supposed to, uh, you know, not, not do things for a few days. So that way when you came in here, you could do it quick. Or you just need to, like, early into the massage, you know, if you're not sure whether they do happy endings or not, but, like, you're concerned that you might not be able to come because, like, you're looking at the time and you're like, oh, I only got, like, 30 minutes left on this massage. Like, is she going to give me a happy ending or not? You should just let your masseuse know, like, hey, um, if you are going to give me one, you should get started soon. So that way I have time, you know. If you have been doing things recently and you're not confident that you can quickly, you know. basketball how did that work you're like three feet tall I was a point guard and I was actually really good I had the record at my school for three point shots out of guys and girls I was really good at three point shots our defense sucked so I just like 
Good thing Slim Markian. Thank you. Is this fake taxi? Um, no, we're not giving anyone rides. I should never give anyone a ride. First of all, they'll probably kill me. Second of all, second of all, I sometimes forget I'm driving when I'm driving. Like, I'll just, like, look over and be like, ooh, the lane's kind of, like, back this way. Just kidding. I don't ever do that. I'm a great driver. You can trust me. Phil Braxton, to be honest, I wouldn't be mad if I lost my girl to another girl. At least it's another dude. Braxton gives zero fucks about other girls. I flirt with other girls all the fucking time. Like, literally... Um, I'll be taking like a hot picture or something. He's like, who you sending it to? I'm like, uh, so and so. And he's like, oh, okay. And then I'll be like, oh, I'm flirting with her. She's hot as fuck. And then I'll like sometimes play with him and like, I'll think a girl's hot and I'll, I'll be like, do you think she's hot? And I just like want to see what he says and see if he gets like flustered or not. And then if I can tell he gets flustered, then I know he thinks she's hot. So then I'll talk to her more just to fuck with him. <laughs> <laughs> she's providing something I can't provide what a female yes it's called a vagina <laughs> super Cajun what's my hidden talent tell me tell me tell me you're in my spot Tony I love chilling in the truck sounds like Liv really knows how to sink balls I am a wizard Harry <laughs> alright <coughs> Braxton just plotting in the back of his head. Braxton doesn't plot anything. I am the plotter. I am the brains of this operation. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright guys, do I just, to get this working, how do I do this? I just plug this in here. Please charge your mobile router. It says battery level low. <sighs> I don't think this this cord is charging this router. I need to call Braxton. Hold on, guys. I don't think uh, I don't think that the cord from the backpack is charging the router for my hotspot. This is not good. This is not good chat. Or I did something wrong, which is more likely. Definitely more likely than something going wrong. Even though thing go, things go wrong often. Damn, they literally went to the beach and came back. And he swung his door open real wide. He must have been really confident he wasn't going to hit me. Because I would have got out and beat his fucking ass. Is he going to answer? Ugh, oh, he's always forwarding me to an automatic voice message. I'm going to murder her. Answer the phone, bitch. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I have it plugged in. And it's charging. Should I just go do things and hope that it works? He's not answering. I'm streaming right now off of one hotspot. Um, I, so I have, right now I have two mobile plans that I'm data bonding and one of them is a Verizon one and that's the one that I'm using right now and then the AT&T one we forgot to charge last night because well we thought it was charging and I guess it wasn't charging and apparently the cord in the backpack isn't charging it and so I'm not using it right now I don't think unless I'm connected to it I know this one's Bluetooth am I connected to it right now I think it's been dead if I'm streaming already off of it, could I just walk down to the beach and just hope for the best? Maybe I just need one plan here? I'm pretty sure I have good internet here. Is that how that works? Braxton's not answering me. I am not a nerd. I don't know what's going on. I need help. It doesn't charge. There's a short in it. Well, no, it's charging with this one. There's So this is the cord I have it plugged into right now is the one that it came with. And it's plugged into a power inverter in my truck. So it's getting like the right voltage that it needs. And then I have to the backpack here. I have it plugged in. So I have a cord with an adapter. It's like a, this was a USB-C to USB-C cord. And I had to get an adapter that was a USB, USB. A port uh, to USB-C so I could plug this into that so I could plug it into my power bank and something's not working something's not charging somewhere there and I don't know what it is because I am not very technical I don't know 
Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know. What's the bars on the hotspot you're streaming on? The one that I'm streaming on... This one's like my shittier one, my Verizon. So my Verizon plan is more expensive than my AT&T plan, but my AT&T plan, like, as far as I've seen, has, like, always outshined my Verizon plan. I pay $20 a month for my AT&T plan. It's a, a tablet plan, um, and it's unlimited, high speed, and I've literally been streaming off of it. It's been fine. My Verizon one, I have this shitty Orbic hotspot from Verizon, and uh, I pay like $100 a month. This one doesn't even look like it's on. Okay, wait, wait. I have 4G, five bars, and I've used 24 gigabytes of data, but that doesn't matter because this one's unlimited. No, this one's not. This one's not unlimited. That's the other shitty part about my Verizon one. I spend $100 a month for it, and I only get, like, 100 gigabytes. So I'm probably literally going to use all of my Verizon one this month and have to switch over fully to AT&T. <sighs> Supper time for me. Jaxius, have a good one. Thank you for hanging out. I'm sorry. I'm just, like, chilling in the truck right now. New setup, guys. Gonna take a lot of me figuring it out because, like I said, I'm not technical at all. And this fucking setup, there's a lot of cords. There are, I feel like I'm walking around, like, honestly, I would not walk into an airport like this, okay? That's all I'm saying. I look like I got so many cords hanging from me. I feel like a news crew. <laughs> Solar panel bikini would be perfect. Oh my gosh, guys. I want to get a bikini that says you're really not that interesting on the front and then on the butt it says Jesus loves you. So that way anyone who looks on my butt has to read Jesus loves you. And if they're staring at my titties, they're going to read you're really not that interesting. I think it'll be funny. But yeah, solar panel bikini doesn't sound that cute, to be honest. Maybe a hat. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, more of the stories are car batteries fucked. No, my car, my truck is on. My truck battery doesn't get fucked if the truck's running, right? Isn't that how that works? When I lived on the road the past year out of my Outback, dude, I fucked my battery in my Outback. I had a brand new Outback and I had to replace my battery in a year of having it because living on the road, I was constantly charging everything off of it. And like most of the time I tried to have it running when I would charge things, but I also had one that like charged directly into my battery. And at campsites, if it was like late and I wanted to air fry some chicken nuggies or something, I was like, fuck, like I want hot food right now and I don't give a fuck. So I would just open up my car and like plug my shit in and run my air fryer. And then all of a sudden at like 3 a.m. you'd hear ding because I could for some reason not get the dinger to turn off on my air fryer, which was so annoying because at campsites, people are like, what in the fuck? Who, what bitch has a microwave? That's what it sounds like, a microwave at a campsite. Bougie bitch. I mean, the air fryer was not bougie looking by any means, but I made chicken nuggies. <laughs> Can I show my souls, please? Can you guys stop asking for things that are not allowed on Twitch? I know because I'm a female, you guys feel like you can come in and just ask questions that are inappropriate. But would you go into a male stream and say that? No. Treat me with some fucking respect. Have some fucking respect. It's 2022, okay? <laughs> what is wrong with you? 100 gigabytes ain't shit. No, bro. I literally go over 100 gigabytes all the time. I used to have an AT&T plan where they would throttle me after, and I was I would always have to call them and be like, okay, bump me to another plan. I would have to jump from plan to plan. That's the key around it, guys. If you have, like, most phone plans, if you only have, like, 100 gigabytes of data when you run out of your data you can like switch to the next plan down or the next plan up so you just have to you either get some money back or you pay just a little bit of the difference and it resets your data for the month so when I first started streaming I streamed with cricket which cricket's like too shitty now I can't do it but uh, I used to stream off of cricket 
and I would just jump like from plan to plan all throughout the month like I would literally jump multiple times and it would just reset my shit and I would get the high speed data until it would run out and then I would reset it <sighs> some guy working at the store told me that remember my computer dying once and only using my phone I ran up 50 gigabytes oh no yeah I heard that so like there were, I was reading that phone plans they used to give like more unlimited plans but there were just like random people who abused it and they just use like a ridiculous amount during the month so they started limiting limiting it but now it's like oh instead of like connecting to 4g and watching youtube oh you're connected to 5g and you're watching it in higher quality and like 5g also just uses more data than 4g so they're limiting you to like the same amount or less than you had before and then they're giving you like higher speeds so in turn you're using more of your data and so then you're just like going over anyways but it's whatever as a christian i take offense to that to what to me putting Jesus loves you on my butt? I am telling people Jesus loves them. When they sin by looking at my ass, they can be like, oh, well, at least Jesus loves me. Let me go pray for forgiveness. Uh, you should not be offended that I want to write that on my butt. Am I not supposed to go to the beach? Like, instead of going to the beach and writing, like, fuck you, sinner, on my ass, I wrote Jesus loves you on my ass, and then they can at least find Jesus afterwards. It's creative as fuck. Never would have thought of that shit. Guys, I'm smart as fuck. You can't fit Jesus loves you on a bikini bottom you wear. I don't like when you guys tell me what I can and can't do because honestly, I totally can. Um, totally can. Though, will it be shoved inside of my asshole the whole time? Probably. Because even if I get bathing suits that aren't supposed to be thong bottoms, like they have some like fabric that are supposed to cover my butt, somehow it always finds this its way into my bong hole so that's why I just wear thong bikinis to begin with because I'm just like I cannot be bothered to like be picking my wedgie all day and then you get like diaper bottom because you have all this excess fabric that's just like wedged up your booty Ugh. the dude is shirtless okay guys I've decided I'm not going to Ron John's first I'm just going to the beach because I'm talking too much um and how charged is this I can't pull this thing off the charger and use it yet because I tried a minute ago and it said I couldn't. I think I'm just going to try to stream with the hotspot that I'm already using and see what happens. Uh, if we walk to the beach and it's awful, I guess we'll come back. I don't know why the beach would be so much worse than my truck here. I have tinted windows. It's like ceramic tint. Isn't that blocking my signal too? Anyways, we're not going to go to Ron John's though because I feel like if we go to Ron John's and shop for a bikini and then I come back here and I change into a bikini, there's going to be no time to actually chill at the beach. So I'm just going to wear the bikini that I brought already and uh, we're going to see how we do. <laughs> The dude is shirtless. I always compliment his nipples. Not going to lie. Do you actually? Anytime I'm shirtless around a female, she always compliments my nipples. I don't know if like they, like, oh my God. I went to this party recently where I got in the hot tub with like a bunch of girls and we were all like fucking naked and there were guys too. And the girls were just like nonstop complimenting my boobs. And this one girl was like, you have the most purple, perfect like nipples I've ever seen can I touch them and she's like coming up to me and like grabbing my boobs and all this kind of shit and I was like does she actually mean this like or is this just like some weird thing because sometimes I feel like girls are always just playing games I'm like what's the motive why are you grabbing my boobs and rubbing my your face and my tits and making me motorboat you what's going on here souls aren't allowed on twitch fuck this platform well good thing I'm a ginger <laughs> Just kidding. I have souls on my feet. Still have grandfathered plan? You fucking bastard. Let me buy it from you. You don't need it. Why is it that I always know people? Seth, Braxton's brother, doesn't do anything that he needs a bunch of fucking data for. He he literally has like this grandfathered AT&T plan like super cheap high speed unlimited everything like t his hotspots so great and I'm always like yo could I like 
get that because you know with streaming that is literally the plan I used and I had to pay so much for it but now I, I don't have that actually I still do have that plan on this phone right now but I'm probably going to lessen my plan now that I'm not streaming off my phone all the time it's technically unlimited is a waste of money it is because nothing's even unlimited grabbing supper <gasps> pass you in a bit Jesus you is pretty short to write what Jabuki you talk too much Karen this isn't news to anyone I used to have a red Ron John's shirt I hated it why don't you like Ron John's or you just don't like the shirt here you are friends Ron John's um, also, <coughs> there's a bunch of air fresheners in there, that smelled really strong. My one wheel <coughs> <coughs> helmet is also from Ron John's, NASA, Confused Boner sticker, Luna Lyric, she's a streamer, she made this. I recently gave a Confused Boner sticker to the girl Allison that I'm going to be hanging out with tomorrow on stream. Oh! Allison and I are also going to the beach tomorrow, so if you're going to be over the beach, sorry. Um, I know I went to the beach yesterday, and I know I'm getting ready to walk down to the beach today. Tomorrow, Allison and I are going to walk around St. Augustine, and then we're going to go down to the beach, so sorry for all the beach days, but yeah. Damn, live a freak. A lady in the street, freak in the sheets. Just kidding. Didn't you say you were pick up some hot wings? I never said that. I did not promise that. You said that. You fucking said that. I did not say that. Do not put words into my mouth, supercation, or I will put something in your mouth you're not gonna want. It's called these dirty fucking feet. All right? Don't try me. All right, guys. I'm gonna turn you guys to face that way. Can you guys keep watch and make sure no one watches me change? I'm gonna change into my bed and suit. Ew! Hold on. Ew! Alright. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, Braxton's calling me. Hello. It's okay, um, I tried to unplug the Netgear Nighthawk, and when I did, it said that it, like, needed to be plugged in again, and I, even when I unplugged it, I plugged it into the cord from the backpack that I ran the wire to the power bank, so I don't think the cords or something's working to charge it from the power bank, because I also, I plugged it into the, the one that's the, like, higher output, because before I had it in the, the other one. And it, it doesn't, like, say it's doing anything. I don't think it's charging it. <coughs> so, um, I was thinking of just walking down to the beach and seeing if my signal's good enough. Because if my signal's good in the truck, it should be good there, right? Oh, I'm connected with both sitting here right now. Oh, well, okay, let me see. No, it's like still at the same fucking charge level that it's been at since I plugged it in. Like it doesn't look like it's moving at all. I mean, it is it is charging. It's charging now. I just think it might take forever to fucking charge. Don't these Netgear ones have like a 10 hour, 12 hour battery, battery life or something? Okay, well if it has a 20 hour battery life and it has a big battery, it's going to take a long time. Maybe I can just, when I'm, I'm just going to unplug it when I'm done and see how it does. <laughs> And let it, or should I do that? Or should I leave it here plugged in? Alright. Alright, I gotta change. Hopefully they can't see me when I flip the camera. I don't think it's that wide of a camera. Hopefully. Alright, bye. Love you. Don't be miserable. Be happy. I love you. Bye. <laughs> Ah, I learned to try, try to analyze girls' motives. Good for you. You're learning well. <laughs> Did you hear we might have World War III soon? Yeah, Braxton, he likes to talk about those things a lot. 
I have. I have no opinions to share with you guys, though, unfortunately. I have a lot of opinions about a lot of things, actually. Very opinionated, if you haven't noticed. But I have no opinions to share with chat. <laughs> as, as much as I like to think that chat and I probably agree on a lot of topics, it's just best left unsaid, you know? bless you I think thank you pineapple cars in USA are bigger dude I have so much space in my truck it's not all cars it's this car I used to have a cobalt that thing was tiny as fuck dude then like the type of shirt possibly don't like the brand oh Ron John's dude if you didn't like a Ron John's shirt from a long time ago it's probably the same I swear their shirts always look the same I've lived in Cocoa Beach since I was like two years old and I'm 24 now so they're, they're, I mean, they, like, change out their shit, and I think they have cute shit, but if you didn't like it, then you probably won't like it now. I love your streams. Mark and thank you! I love you hanging out with me! I'm sorry I'm taking so long to, like, get myself going. I always have the worst time, chat. If I start a stream in the truck, or in the car, or wherever the fuck vehicle I have, I cannot seem to get myself out. I just... <laughs> I love hanging out with you guys in the fucking vehicle chat. When Brax and I first started hanging out, we we spent most of our time hanging out in his, his car. He had a Honda Accord, and we hung out in there all the time. It's a safe spot. It's nice in here. It's peaceful. There's AC. I have good music, but can't share it with you guys. But it's nice music. For real, chat. Thank you for calling Windows Super Duper Tech Support. This is Braxton speaking. That's what he says sometimes. Energy drinks are bad. This one literally only has caffeine from black tea. I mean, it's fucking tea, bro. Don't be such a square. All right. You know what they say about opinions? They're like assholes. Everyone's got one. All right. I'm going to turn the camera this way. All right, chat. Please keep watch. Make sure no one comes and does creepy things while I change, alright? I'm going to hope that this goes smooth. Aw, oh, you motherfuckers. Why do people always have to come near my vehicle right as I start to do these things? Ah, my titties, they are coming out. Move on away from my vehicle been 16 hours since I've eaten the center of my forebrain and my eyeballs are starting to force me to wake up I'll eat in an hour or two uh, why are you doing that why not just eat are you doing like some sort of diet you know I watched a, a video on someone who did one of those starving diet things yeah I'm not convinced it's great for you but what do I know Ow! Fucking A, that string slapped my titty. Alright. Ow! Fuck. <laughs> oh, this bathing suit is like easier to put on than most of my bathing suits, but it's not the easiest either. I'm just happy that this bathing suit's still tied from last time. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright. But not everyone does anal. The fuck are you talking about, pineapple? Where the fuck does that come from? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were on TV. Wait, did someone say that? Did someone look over? I hope they can't see my, uh, my camera. That means my windows aren't as tinted as I think they are. And I like to think they're very tinted, you know, considering I'm changing in here. <laughs> I got them, they're, I think, a legal tint, just a little, but, you know, I I'm in Florida most of the time, and they don't really give a fuck, because, you know, it's sunny as shit in Florida. Oh, wow, that feels great, getting those freaking, oh, I was just gonna say something gross, okay. Oh my god, I was gonna turn the camera, but I'm not actually dressed like I think I am. <laughs> Hold on. I have my shirt still, like, kind of on. I thought it was done. Ow! Okay. Ugh. Okay. 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 Ow! Dude, I had the biggest freaking wedgie. Feels so good. 
to put on some different stuff. You know, sometimes just things get old. All right, chat, I'm flipping camera. I'm doing it. One second. I swear I'm doing it. All right, hold on. Fuck. Hold on, hold on. I got to put on my cover-up shorts. Twitch is really fucking weird about this shit. One second. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm standing up where I don't belong. Oh, God. Ah! All right. I almost hit the horn. All right, fuck. Am I good? Am I good? I think I'm good. Okay. I'm worn out. That was a lot. That was a fucking lot. All right. Politics are like asshole smells awful like whatever you've been eating. <laughs> what? So we're supposed to watch out for the purse, said the fox to the chickens. You guys did what you were told, right? You were doing, you were looking. Now I'm gonna use the line from now on if I ever find myself in an awkward situation. Dude was 200 IQ. Wait, what line? I hope a tornado forms over your butt. Sarah! What the fuck, dude? Why? Why are you so mean to me? I gotta change my stuff, guys. One second. I'm changing my category. I gotta be in hot tubs pulled in beaches when these titties come out. Twitch don't know how to handle them. They're like, oh my. Alright. do this. <coughs> this be having a whole crisis in front of the seat. Dude, I'm not trying to be vulgar, but my thong was literally pinching my clit against my thigh. I don't know how to explain it, but it was extremely painful. And I felt like if I moved at all, it was going to move my thong a different way against the skin that was already being pinched. And I was mildly concerned for the survival of my genitalia. But we made it. And we're here today to tell the tale. So, let's do this. Alright. I unplug you. You stay charged, you bitch. Don't you die on me. Don't you die. I sat in this truck for a long damn time waiting for your ass to charge. All right, I'm charged and ready. Blue Dream! Oh my God, I love Blue Dream if you're talking about the weed. Thank you so much, guys. Can we have some lift stabs and lift loves for Blue Dream? Thank you, thank you, thank you for the support and kindness and helping me do what I enjoy doing. I appreciate you. I hope you're having an amazing day. Sounds like you need to go to Ron John's. No, we're not going to Ron John's. I already told you guys, we're not going to Ron John's today. I wanted to go to Ron John's to get a new bikini, but we're going to do it another day because it's getting late in the day and we just, we just, it's time for the beach chat. All right. I want to go spend time on the beach. I don't want to spend my whole day. That's Ron John's. I only wanted to spend some of my day there. All right. I guess we're just bringing tanning oil because I don't know where the fuck my regular sunscreen is. Ginger with tanning oil. What could go wrong? All right. It's all right. It's late in the day. We'll make it. I think. Oh yeah. Turn off the truck. Good call. Good call. Uncle Ron Johns will set you straight. I literally don't think there's a person named Ron Johns. I think you're making that up. Only lipsticks goes to the beach at sundown. Oh, it won't let me lock it if I'm in. Okay, I know, I know. Shut up. Shut up about it. Shut up about it. Sarah, I still have an hour of sun. An hour. A whole fucking hour. We need to go. I only have an hour. <laughs> Guys, why are you guys taking so long to get yourselves ready for the beach? I have been ready, chat. I have been anxiously awaiting our time at the beach. And you guys have been nothing but bullshitting around. Alright? We have things to do. People to see. 
spilled a little bit more of my water on the seat. That was the second time today. I don't think I'm going to bring my sunglasses. I feel like maybe I should. It's kind of sunny. Let's do it. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> the water that I just said that I spilled a second ago, I shit you fucking not, just dropped from the front of the car to the back of the car and landed upright. I need to finish this now. It is so dangerous for me to have open containers. This is why no open containers on the beach. They're talking about alcohol, but I am basically a drunk sober person at all times, at all fucking times. That didn't work. All right. Oh shit. Should put the lid on those. All right. Ah! Okay, whatever. We're good. It's so bright. I need to clean my truck. It's looking a little messy. Don't talk about it. I'm feeling insecure about it. All right. Bang! Hello! How are you? You're lucky to have that right around the corner of you. The skyline on those four bleaches, though. Holy shit. The beaches, that's what you said. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. I... I love this area. <laughs> I want to live here one day when I can find a property that I can afford. <laughs> um, I will buy one, but yeah, I love this area. I think it's really special. It's a little crowded sometimes, like right now, it's a little crowded, but you know, people are chill here. It's not, it's not Orlando crowded. It's at least like everyone having a good time. I enjoyed the car chilling. Blue Dream, I enjoyed hanging out with you in the car. Thank you. You're a hot mess. I think that perfectly sums me up. I appreciate that, Sarah. Oh my god, I have to be so bad. This is so atrocious because I have not figured out how to urinate while streaming with this backpack set up. I know that sounds weird, but I'm used to streaming off my phone and when you know times are hard and gotta go you just I would normally just like mute my stream and put my phone in my backpack and then um you know pull my phone back out when I was done but this setup is like so legit and I also don't know how to fucking mute you guys please don't run me over sir you don't even look like you're trying to slow down <sighs> Do you have a jet blue true blue card lift? The fuck is a jet blue true blue? What is that? God damn it, guys. I had my Maui Wowie pin and I think I left it in the truck. I could cry. It's okay though. I'm not going to. I'm going to make it. We will survive. We don't need substances to have a good time. All right. Florida looks hot and sexy. Jaden, Florida is hot. It's a nice day out today. You already sent a fax to Braxton? We do not have a fax machine or a printer. I live in a camper, Sarah. What do you think this is? <sighs> There's a restroom nearby. Yeah, I know I've been in it before, but A, I left my shoes in the truck and I am not going in that bathroom without my shoes on. And B, I'm going to the, the biggest bathroom of all. Just kidding. I'm not going to go. I'm just going to hold it forever. I'll make it. At some point, it just all goes numb. Drip blue, true, true blue. I think that's ice cream. Jet blue, true blue. I don't know. You know, I do fuck with ice cream, but... I don't eat it very often. I feel like I'm more of a savory person than a sweet person. Hold on, you Hello, you're fine. Guys, 
I need to stop for a second and check my pockets, but there are people everywhere, so I don't know where to put my stuff down. <laughs> Walking is awesome. Yeah, but I had my one wheel and I could have not walked and that would have been great, but I didn't want to carry my one wheel on the beach because it's kind of heavy and I don't know if it's going to be low tide and I kind of suck at where <laughs> riding my one wheel. Sorry, the guy was being so fucking weird. He was like walking like this, like he was taking pictures. He stopped like right after and I've seen so many guys do that here that I just like, I don't know. Anyways, one second. Ugh. <laughs> ah! Chat! Oh my god! I almost killed you. Ah! What is happening? Okay, I need to pull up my stream, see what it looks like, because I've had... One second. Not big on sweets either. Yeah, I, I'm more of a savory person. In some places, if you pee in a lake or a river, a parasite can swim up and enter you. Yeah, I've heard that 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 has happened to like people who go pee in the water like while mudding, like four wheeling. <sighs> the girls are looking at you. I'm don't doubt it. I'm carrying around a freaking camera. Aw, thanks, Jax. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna pull out my stream. So I can see what the quality is like because I didn't bring oh I did bring the other hotspot. It's just not plugged in, so it might die at some point. Alright, it's Florida. I'd really assume everyone is a serial a serial killer or a sex offender. Oh my god. Dude, what? Hold on guys. Um, no, that's not true. Except for slightly. I'm just kidding. Though if you do look up, like look at the list. Hello. Come on, Flora's open carry and stand your ground. It's a death trap. Flora's not a death trap. Wouldn't you rather be somewhere where people are armed and they can, like, defend themselves versus, like, somewhere where someone can, like, show up and, like, shoot up a place and no one has a gun to defend themselves? Alright. Anyways. I, uh, I was trying to take off my pants and that fucking guy, like, as soon as he saw me, like, stop to take off my pants, like, stopped and was being super fucking annoying. So, yeah. That's why I stopped. But now he's just staying there staring at me. <sighs> I hate people. I don't know why people can't just be like fucking normal, but you know, anyways. Oh damn, what? Never switch tab that fast? What are you talking about? Alright. Thumbs the brakes of being an 8 plus. Sorry, Liv. 8 plus? Wait, I'm so lost as to what you guys are talking about. Also, we're gonna walk all the way down here because this beach has been so crowded lately near Ron John's and I fucking hate chilling at the beach where there's a bunch of people because like I'll go and like sp purposely find a spot far away from people and then someone will like come sit right beside me and then they'll stare at me weird when I'm like being weird on stream I'm like you asked for it you came and put yourself next to me and now you're looking at me weird when I'm talking about fucking chat in the ass. I didn't ask for this. You did. So <clears throat> that is why hot girls this is why hot girls don't actually have life on easy mode. Oh my god, I get so fucking annoyed when people like 
act like, oh, it's just like so easy to be a girl all the time. I'm like, do you understand what it's like to be creeped on though by old men every time I go to the beach? And I go to the beach all the time, multiple times a week. I love the beach, but I do not like the creepy men who are on the beach very much. Sometimes they're all right. Sometimes they're charming and cute, but for the most part, they're just old and really fucking creepy and they say things that make me extremely uncomfortable. And I'm just like, why is this happening <laughs> to me? Jay, thank you. I'm creepy because I'm ugly. No, no. You can be an unattractive person and come up and have a great conversation and might even be attracted by the end because you know it's a great conversation. But it's people who like, say really creepy things like, oh, there was this one this like old man once at the beach who approached me when I was wearing a bedazzled bikini and he was just like he was like oh are you making a video and I was like asking me all these questions and then he was like so do you like take your clothes off and stuff for money and it was just like asking just like this is like, just like an old man shouldn't ask a girl by herself like you know that you don't know you just met it's really weird <laughs> Being a dude is underrated, not gonna lie, especially if you don't fuck with people. Yeah, exactly, because then you like never experience that ever. <laughs> Dudes always creep on you if you're a woman, nobody has a problem ignoring you if you're a dude. The funniest thing is like when ch like people in chat, most of the time chat's chill, but like sometimes chat will like, I'll have a creepy experience and chat literally experienced it with me and people will be like, oh, it wasn't actually that bad or he didn't like touch you though and they'll like defend it and I'm just like is are you being dumb because you just literally like can't relate whatsoever and it's just like you're so disconnected from like the issues that like the opposite sex could have because you don't have those <sighs> I watch women from a distance I mean honestly I don't care like if guys like look or like even at like a gas station where I'm like complaining that like guys will like cat call. I don't care if you're sitting in your truck or like pumping your gas and you're staring at me. I mean like obviously if you're just continuously staring at me, a little creepy, but I mean if you're just like sitting there and you're not coming near me and you're not being like saying creepy things, it's pretty harmless. It's like the people who like stare like that, wait till you're by yourself, then come up and be like, damn, your your boobies look really soft. And you're just like, they are, but fuck off. <laughs> being resistible is a good thing. I got that going for me. Oh, being resistible. I thought for some reason I was like, I read resistible, but I was thinking irresistible. <laughs> Boris, hello, how are you? messed up it's like save it for twitch weirdo yeah go be a creep on twitch like the rest of them no, i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm joking guys <laughs> you think any of them go outside i mean most of the time when i'm getting fucked with i am outside i feel like there's like i don't know so do you guys remember recently i was like i titled the stream like florida swamps or something and i was like in a bikini and I was chilling, like waiting for sunset, but then I didn't get to see the sunset because it was cloudy. Anyways, that day some guy like followed me down to this dead end and it was so fucking creepy. And it was like really dark and stuff out and the guy was wearing like a hat and sunglasses. Like he was just dressed weird for the day and followed me to a really creepy place. I was just doing a lot of creepy things. And where was I going with this? Oh my God, I lost my train of thought. How did this happen? Oh, this guy is just like wandering around outside and just like takes the opportunity. Like these people just creep around in weird parts where maybe they think they'll find someone who is like by themselves. Have you seen the place where no idea where it was? Dr. WD-40, there's a boardwalk and some, you are brought, put his name on it. Yeah, I've been there, that's where I've been there a million times. There's like a clip a long time ago where I was running on a boardwalk and I like busted my ass because it was slippery. That's there. Um, 
Yes, I've been there. I used to not, like, when I first started streaming, I had Signal there all the time, and I used to stream there a lot, and then I changed data plans, and I couldn't stream there for a long time, but I probably could now. It's just, I don't know, I have, like, other parks now that I prefer. That used to be my favorite park, but the one with the scrub jays that land on me, that's my favorite one now. <laughs> I'd rather go and, like, play with the birdies. We're just getting to the beach because I've been waiting for my shit to charge all day. It's been annoying. I, I'm still like learning my gun run backpack and like figuring out how everything works and figuring out like what I need to plug in in the evening and I forgot to plug in something. So we're just now getting here. Innocent, thank you. Is it creepy to sit on the beach with a binocular? I mean, yes, but I think that's still less creepy than like approaching someone and being a creeper. <laughs> uh, get your feet wet, then go to the, okay, I'll take you guys to the water. Hold on, I'm just putting my stuff down. I've been carrying around a bunch of shit. I wanna put down my towel, put on some chapstick, cause my lips feel chapped. <laughs> and, then I'll take you guys to the water. I have a feeling it's gonna be chilly. It's been chilly at night, and then it's been like warming up during the day. I think all this week, I think it's supposed to be warm, and then Sunday, oh wait, is it tomorrow? We are supposed to have a cold front at some point. I don't remember when. Saw flex, but I've gotten caught looking a couple of times and got passes back. Sometimes it works. I mean, yeah, if you're not creepy about it, then, I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Is this the place with the birds? Yeah, the, not the place that Dr. WD-40 goes to, the one with the boardwalk. That's a different place. That place uh, has, like, they have bat boxes, so sometimes you'll see bats. And then they have, uh, what else do they have? They have alligators there. Um, there's manatees there. There's a lot of, like, raccoons turtles that place is really nice um but i used to only have signal in the front part of that park so i didn't i used to go there a lot and then i got kind of bored because i could only hang out in one area but it's different now i think games what's up tj30 hello those clouds look fake as fuck they look so pretty. I was, yesterday I was clicking through the VOD because it was like my first uh, stream where I got to take the gun run backpack and like go out and do it on my own and like taking it to a place that I've been a lot and I was like clicking through the VOD and I was just like, holy shit, it looks so good. There was someone yesterday, most people were very complimenting of the quality but there was one person yesterday who was like i can't tell the difference and i was like really is it really not noticeable but no it is so noticeable the quality is so much better than what i've had do you get offended guy asked if you take your clothes off for money i did get offended by the old guy asking but at the same time i was like here's my link no <laughs> Do I really tan to apply sunscreen? Yeah, I need to do that. One second. I got you. If I didn't know you, I'd probably creepily follow you too, mistaking you for being a leprechaun, thinking you would lead me to the end of a rainbow. Are you saying that because I'm short and I'm a ginger? Or why are you saying that? Exactly. Because I'm cheery? Like a leprechaun? I can do a leprechaun dance. Right? Or else it went. How do we do it? I don't know. Can I show my bikini? Here's my bikini. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Um, got it at Ron John's, where I was gonna take you guys. Um, the top is double sided. <laughs> it has like a flowery it's just like it's the same it's a flower pattern but just more flowers <laughs> there's a huge ship on the horizon it's probably a cruise boat 
Ain't gonna feel bad about shit. Get your hustle on. You've been blessed. Oh, thanks, pineapple. Needs to be about 20 to 30 percent smaller. Way too much of you in, not in view. Oh, okay. So it's hard. Let me put my towel down. But it's kind of hard because I went from having like okay. So I have always streamed off of my Samsung S20 Ultra and I've like always used the front camera because it's like with the phone camera you can't get that much in the frame because it's not like the most wide angle lens to begin with. And so I've always used the front camera which is even less wide angle and lower quality so that I can like make sure I'm in frame. But I've been fucking with this setup so hard because A, I can't see myself anymore, which is actually really nice. Like, whenever you're streaming and you stare at yourself all day, it's kind of like, I don't know, it, it, it gets in your head a little bit. Um, and also, I'm like super wide angle. So like, if I'm just like kind of in front of the camera, I can almost guarantee that you guys can see me, which is lovely. But also, it's like really hard for me to figure out like the distance that I should put you guys because I'm so used to like, if I was streaming with my phone, I would have to have like, okay, I'm pretty sure that I can grab you guys and put you like all the way over here. And I think that you guys can pretty much see like, hold on. I'm pretty sure you guys can see like most of the towel. Whereas with my phone, I would have had to put you guys like way actually farther than the cord will let me go. I would have had to put you guys like way back there just to get, um, if I was streaming off my phone, like this whole towel and frame. So like it was so confusing sometimes because I would like try to show you guys stuff and have the camera pointing in that direction. And if I just didn't have it point like the right angle, then I would miss things. <laughs> nice blanket live I love it thank you I used to have a so like my favorite towel brand grew up in Florida I have favorite beach towel brands anyways my favorite towel brand is slow tide and I used to have a slow tide towel that had like basically the same pattern and I fucking loved it like it was so beautiful to me. I I used it for photography. I took it everywhere. I had it always in my car to just like throw down if I wanted to lay down somewhere. And it ended up sinking to the bottom of the river when I was kayaking once and there was a lot of things happening. I thought I was gonna die to a shark. Long story short, Braxton sank his kayak and he lost my towel. So anyways, I bought this towel as a replacement because it looks just like it, but it's not a slow to tide towel. And all these little fuzzies, like if I sit on this towel for too long, will stick to me. And the other day, I was streaming and I was sitting on this towel for a long time and I had sunscreen on me and I just sat in the same spot and I got up and I had all this like dark fuzzy shit on my leg and chat never chose to told, tell me that I look like fucking Chewbacca and I had like fuzzy shit on my butt and I was even doing headstands and shit. So yeah. Um, but I do like this towel, but it's it's not the one that it could have been, you know? You know, and really doesn't even look like this is a real place. It's too beautiful. Now that I have like my nicer camera, you guys are always going to be like, is this a green screen? Because guys, I've taken you guys to such pretty places, but honestly, my phone camera probably hasn't done it much justice. <laughs> The backpack looks so good. And I don't even I don't even know if I'm using both of my modems right now. What does my leg tattoo say? It says that it's better to be absolutely ridiculous rather than absolutely boring. And boring is written next to my vagina. I did not do it on purpose. It was an accident. There is no correlation between the two except for placement. And yeah. <laughs> don't you dare turn your back to me. Don't you dare tell me what to fucking do. I do what I fucking want, motherfuck truck. What's Maddie been up to? Don't ask about Madeline. We don't care about Madeline. I am the center of all of this. You only ask what I have been up to, not the other girls in the show. I'm just kidding. 
Madeline? I don't know. She's always working. She's a nurse. She's so busy. Woo! Sorry, chat. I had to. You want to see a trick, chat? Fiber. This one is not microfiber. That's why shit is sticking to me. <laughs> if it was microfiber, then I wouldn't be getting hairs from my blanket on me. Boomin, hello, how are you? Thank you, QQ. Damn, she's good at that. I kind of want to try again because I kind of fucked up. But um, the guy walking behind me with the blue shirt kept like stopping and staring at me. And you have to follow me on Twitch to get the show, okay? This is not for the general public. I know that I am in the general public, but this is not for them. This is only for chat. They are all supposed to look the other way or close their fucking eyes. So I had to stop because Homie got a free show and he doesn't even follow me. I should go tell him to follow my Twitch. Shit, he got too far away. I was gonna go tell him that he can watch me on Twitch, but he can't watch me right here, that this ain't free. You know? Live, go back, sitting. Homie is in a polo, khakis at the beach. Bro, you the FBI, what you on? For real, though. For real, though. Who the fuck goes to the fucking beach? Actually... He probably is just staying at like one of the condos nearby because uh, like a lot of people will dress up from the condos and walk down here and chill and then they'll like walk to a restaurant or something. Dude, he's still looking back at me. Should I? I'm gonna just, when he looks back, I'm gonna wave. I'm gonna wave. Is he gonna look back again? He's getting really far to be looking back. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to or not. Okay, he's gone. He's no longer investigating me. I'm no longer being questioned. Do you have Amazon Prime? Sir, do you have Amazon Prime? Check out twitch.tv slash lipsticks and use your free Prime today. <laughs> what if he already does if he's a stream sniper? Well, why didn't he come and talk to me? Is he also a pussy? Speaking of general public, did Maddie break up with Seth yet? Remind me so I can get her a bigger ring. So you're going to get Madeline a bigger ring than the one Seth got her when Seth got her a huge one and you've given me no ring yet and yet I spend all my time with you? What is Madeline doing that I am not doing? Is it because Madeline shows less interest in you guys is that what does it do i need to show up here less is that what will make you guys love me as much as you love madeline because honestly i feel like i've tried everything i haven't received a single wedding ring from chat not a single one but i've had a solid three to four people in chat tell me that when madeline breaks up with seth that they're gonna buy her a fucking wedding ring and you know i don't i can't put my finger on it i don't know what i'm doing wrong i feel like i would make a great fucking housewife chat app uh, thank you cooking fat hello i hope you're well how are you why is chat so special goodness i love chat so much go to a couple and ask if they want a third Okay, well, if I go up to them with my camera set up, they're going to know I'm fucking around and they're going to say no. No couple that wants a third is going to say yes while I'm fucking filming. If I wanted to find a couple that wanted a third, I could message someone right fucking now. <laughs> oh, thanks, Maggie. Oh. 
Whoa, Jack. Hi, Liv. Hope you're well. Thank you, cooking. Jamal, hello. Hello, my dream woman. Andre, hello. How are you? How is your day? What is good? How are you, my friend? How was your weekend? Yeah, you're the wing streamer. Oh my god, are you referring to my tweet this morning? I don't think it made any sense, but it got so many likes, so I was just like, okay, I'm leaving it. Uh, at first, when I tweeted it, I was really high. I was like smoking weed, and I was like, I'm the best wingman, something, something the world has ever known. Because lately, guys, I have just been hooking so many people up. Like, everyone's like, oh, you know, I'm kind of into this person. I'm like, yeah. I fucking swindle everyone together. I'm like fucking Cupid. Alright, that's why I was February. For Valentine's, I was Cupid. And I put in the Lord's work. And that's why I was tweeting about a bunch of people liked it. I was going to delete it because it didn't make any sense. But then I was like, fuck it, I'll leave it. Because what else? But is that what you're talking about? I'm sorry. I can talk so much about literally nothing. Live and touch you. Oh, J K Jax, JX. Time out. Oh, on time out. Summer I timed you out. You're bad. You're bad. Bad. Do not say that. Don't say that. You're making me uncomfortable. I'm just innocently here and you're talking about discussing things that you're doing. No one wants to know, bro. Only need you live. We only need you. Pineapple, I only need you guys. All I need in life in chat is chat. Guys, when I a couple years ago when I went through that breakup that was like really hard to go through I I went to the gym a lot because like the gym kind of helped me feel like I was a bad bitch it made me feel like I was gonna get back in the groove like my ex didn't make me feel very attractive he never told me I was pretty shit so I would like get on my treadmill and I start running and I would like get really into it and I would stretch and I would wear my whole clothes to the gym and these guys would look at me I'd be like yeah uh-huh I'm a fucking bad bitch anyways where was I going with this? How do I always do this? I start talking and then I fucking forget what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, anyways, when I was going through this breakup, I would go to the gym and I would think to myself like, you know what, it's okay if this guy and I don't work out and I never get in another relationship again. And you wanna know why? I was okay with just having chat, at least for a while. And then I was thinking I'd become like that guy in the Bible who just like never got married. I thought like maybe I wasn't right to be with someone, but now we're good. We, we fixed ourselves. We only need you live. Yes, yes, tell me more. Incredible sight, the beach is all right too. 883, it's a beautiful day at the beach. <gasps> Sarah, I only have eyes for you. I like the bikini, thank you. I bought it with you guys. I bought it from Ron John's where I was gonna go today and buy a new bikini, but we didn't have time, so. Also, American told me that I should put on sunscreen, and American, I don't want you to think that I didn't take you seriously, but as soon as I got out here, the sun went behind the clouds, and the sun is going down in like 30 to 40 minutes, and honestly, I think I'm good. I know I'm a ginger, and I know I like to take chances, but I think I'm going to be alright. Andre, hello from Germany, how are you? Everyone else is getting ready to leave, Liz Six just got here. Sarah. Everyone's leaving except for us. We're all getting here and we're having a good time. It's the after party, okay? Damn disrespect. Don't ever disrespect Liv. Well, my crazy rain roof is leaking into my kitchen. I'm so pissed off. Oh my god, dude. I'm so sorry, cooking fat. That sounds so annoying. I kind of understand your pain, though. Braxton's parents' house, where we're staying right now. I mean, we're staying in our camper, but we're like camping in their property and we're using their uh, hookups uh, they have been letting us so graciously shower in their house as well as like other people who have been like in town it's just been like kind of a party house and they I guess like the septic got full and a shower was backed up and it was a lot but yeah uh, we've been Braxton's been back there dealing with that he's been like digging drenches or something I don't know women's friends that aren't haters deserve their props women friends that aren't haters I actually have been making a lot of women friends lately chat 
I used to only be friends with guys, and I know what you're thinking, but don't fucking say it, okay? The problem is, a lot of girls are just difficult, okay? They're hard to understand, and they're really complicated, and they like to play games, and I don't, I honestly don't like games. Like, I know that you might think that I like games, but I am being for real. I am a girl who doesn't like drama chat, okay? And I'm only smiling because I know you guys think I'm bullshitting, but I am being for real. I do not like drama. I do not do drama, okay? I will listen to other people's drama and enjoy their drama, but I personally like to avoid it at all costs. And um, girls are stressful. Guys are straightforward. Like, guys will tell you how it is. So, for the most part, I've only had guy friends. But as of late, I have been putting in the work. I have been, like, talking to so many girls and trying to be friends with them because lately I've just found that, like, most guys who are your friends, they aren't just your friends. And for a long time, I've tried to deny it and be like, no, no, he's just my friend. He's just my friend. He doesn't want anything. And then, all of a sudden, he responds to your Snapchat story where you say you're starting stream and your boobies are like only kind of in the picture. He's like, oh, those look soft. And then you're like, god damn it. Why? You know, chat? Why? Are you going to TwitchCon? Yeah, I am. Woo! The breakup was the best thing. Oh, 11, I agree. Thank you for saying that, though. What's wrong with the No Marriage Bible Guy? No Marriage Bible Guy is going to be a virgin forever, because if not, then he's not a Bible Guy. I'm just kidding. Being said, the work for Braxton's good. He is great. Nicholas, I know, but I'm going to risk it. I think I'll be okay, though. Thank you, though. Thank you, thank you. You're just being goofy, always. Drama, baby, you're fucking lying to me, Desper. Don't say that. You don't know me like you think you do right now. <coughs> Kenneth, I love you always. Make friends with girls for collab purposes, please. Guys, I literally have been saying all day that tomorrow I am streaming with a friend named Allison, and you guys are gonna think she's super cute and adorable, and you're gonna fucking love her, and you're gonna be like, wow, Liv, thank you so fucking much, wingman. That was another reason why I tweeted why I tweeted. Like, I had so many reasons to say I'm a wingman lately. I've been doing matchmaking chat. When I streamed with the 30 show, I got the waitress's phone number for chat, because everyone was like, damn, she cute. And tomorrow, I'm gonna be streaming with a cute ass girl named Allison, all for you guys. I'm driving to fucking hours there and two fucking hours back just to stream with Allison for you guys so don't tell me I didn't ever do anything for you all right all right don't tell me I didn't do anything for you because I did something for you tomorrow you're welcome are you single now no I date all my internet boyfriend <laughs> ah pineapple stop you're so sweet do you smoke vapes I smoke things iPhone 5, hello, how are you? Who is Allison? Is she soft? <coughs> <coughs> Alright, chat. I'm gonna go feel the water temperature real, real quick. Um, Y'all are creepy as fuck. Sarah, you better be talking to me too. If you're talking to chat, you better be talking to me too. Because I have cultivated this community. Okay, chat is a direct reflection of my personality. These are the people that enjoy conversating with me and being around me. So I like to think that chat and I, we have a lot of similar. Because I'm, I'm here with you guys. I have such a fun job. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that guy like walked up over here and he like came up with his camera out. Okay, that was pretty good. Yeah. I feel like that was pretty yeah. decent. 
easier than that. I feel like I got a lot of rolls in there. Like a hella roll. No, going to get all sad. Live six is truly a bubbly street. <gasps> Thank you. I try, Chad. We've been needing to do laundry. Our goal is to do laundry tonight. We have like two bags full. Normally, I have not seen in a while. Mexico is still all sketch. See, I don't know where to go there. It's hard. How are you doing today? I'm good. X How the fuck do I say that? FX Air. How are you? Closer to working than I ever thought. No, I did it earlier, I swear. So I can do it, and the waves said bet. I just gotta wait for the waves to calm down. Ow! Alright. Why are the waves so big? That night, but, what? But, what? <laughs> what? What? Hey, can you stop touching the walls? Alright, now you gotta get her out. You gotta ah! Ah! Are you coming or what? One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Who's got him? Oh fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Five, bitch. Ah! One. Oh, I felt my spine pop. Two. Two. Three. Come on, one more. <laughs> oh, fuck, hold on. I'm seeing stars. Do the stars come out early? I think so. Oh, fuck. One more, bitch. Ta da! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I need to get your back. You gotta do that in a sec. Okay? showing you guys. Am I on the camera? Oh my god, I can't see. I literally can't see. Why is the sun so bright this way? Oh god, I literally have the sun right behind you guys. No wonder. Isn't it kind of cold on the beach? No! 78 kind of cold? What? It's like... Look. 
listen to that. Did anyone hear? Oh. Oh. Oh my god, it's an alligator. No alligators. Come on, bro. Oh. This seems rough. Seth needs to give her the hand. Guys, how are you guys still in this conversation? I don't even know what's happening with this conversation. And every time I look at chat, someone in chat's like, Seth needs to do this, Seth needs to do that. I'm like, what? What? I thought he was talking about me. He wasn't talking about me. All right, we're gonna switch sunscreens because that one's like barely spraying. What does it say on your thigh? Bad. I just don't understand. I like how I showered right before the beach and put on lotion. Cause I was like, ah, overcast. Cause I smell like a fucking flower all day. But now the sand keeps sticking to me. Hi, seagull. We don't acknowledge seagulls. We don't like seagulls. Seagulls are annoying and they are uninvited. Oh my god. Sand everywhere. room that's where I was smoking and I walk out and I forgot that Braxton's mom's dog likes weed likes the taste of weed and fucking went into the room pushed the door open like pushed the door up into the room goes in and eats my bowl of keef literally ate the fucking bowl of keef and I was so upset never seen a headstand this good. I mean, I haven't done it yet, but I can only assume that this is gonna be the best one ever. Write it down. Mark the date. Olivia broke history doing the most badass headstand ever done. I don't think you guys are far enough away. Hold up. Are you a ginger? Ginger? Kind of blonde for that? I'm actually a strawberry blonde. <laughs> That's what they, uh, that's what my mom in here. I cleaned her up a little bit yesterday. So, I know she's like full of shit, so you're like, oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, 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 did the fucking magnetic latch that didn't latch and smacked me in the head. Oh. You gotta, you gotta actually push it up there. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was trying so hard. I was trying so hard to like make my legs look like waves or something, but I felt this like pinch in my side. I was like, ah, fuck. <laughs> I should have done it earlier. <laughs> Should have done it earlier in the process. Oh, it's hot. What's he cooking? Turtle soup? What are you talking about? Oh, here? The water's cold. Hottest hot tub for sure. 72% loves it, so I'm in the. I told you, American. You think you know what you're talking about, but. American, you're an old man. You don't get the vibe. No, I'm just kidding. All right, hold on. Camera angle's weird. Your hair will get wet. Yeah, I know. All right, chat. Woo! 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 I saw my fucking 
life flashed before my fucking eyes. Oh my god. Alright, chat. Nature's coffee. Let's do some quick stretches since my sciatica is fucking up. I put this up. I really doubt I put it in there. Um, <laughs> you're laying on your back messing with the roof or something? Bruh! Check behind my ears. I don't do that. My ears don't hold on to things well. We're back. We're back. We're back. I was, I, for a while was carrying the camera where it was on my face and then I got over it because like I didn't think it was going to go back till I got to the truck. So I was, I just gave up. I was like, fuck it. My arm was so tired. <laughs> Go back to the cliffs now. Two cliffs. You guys like the cliffs better than you like me. Oh wait, I'm the cliffs. What the fuck, bitch? <laughs> what the fuck? Super Gaiden. Space Explorer, my love, hello. That was another clip, honestly. I made it come back. How did you make it come back? I bro, I just walked all the way to the fucking truck. I just got here. I just got here, Bradney. I just walked all the way back by myself. You know what, you wanna know what's funny about the whole thing? My viewer count went up while I was away, while my clips happened. Shows how good my clips are. <laughs> just kidding. But I'm not kidding, my viewer count did go up. That is a true statement. <laughs> Live, where can I find the National tea Parks t-shirt? I got the National Park shirt uh, at REI. He's referring to my Instagram post and my Twitter post. If you haven't checked it out, they're both lipsticks. I posted the picture of my shirt where I marked all my National Parks off on. Is this near Ron John's? It is! <sighs> I just got all the way back here. We are not going back to the clip supercation. There was a stray hair clip. You know, I was actually gonna straighten my hair the other day. Um, I swear I'll do it for you soon, okay? I'll do it for you before we leave, like from staying at Braxton's, like in Braxton's parents' yard. Uh, before I leave there, I will, cause like, I can't use my hair straightener in my camper. It's like, used too much wattage. Um, but I can go into their house and plug in my hair straightener. Those clips were pretty fucking good, not gonna lie. You know what's funny about it? So, um, we like started paying for the server, the service, it's called like IRL Toolkit or something. And it's like what we use for our, the service for like the Be Right Back screen. Because normally when I used to stream off my phone on like Stream Elements or Stream Labs, like if my shit disconnected, it would just like drop my stream and you, it would say that I went offline instead of having like a be right back screen and then it would like not only would it just like drop everyone so like when I would come back a lot of times I would lose like over half my viewers but also it would like separate my VODs into multiple different recordings which is just kind of annoying um so yeah now like I have this service where when my stream drops it just like plays through these clips and like Braxton can make it play whatever he was gonna do like a YouTube video or he was gonna do like certain clips but 
just like to start before we got set up we were like oh we'll just do most popular clips and every day after stream like I'll go and click through the beginning to see what clips it played and I'm just like oh my fucking goodness like my most popular clips are just interesting they're just something just had to press start Braxton what the fuck Liv how are you Chiggy D I'm well how are you make the remote noise you mean my truck noise clips are fire thanks guys i was just there last month <gasps> wing yeah i am um, this is like one of my most stream spots i grew up here in coco beach i used to live in cape canaveral which is like just a little bit down that way um when i was two my family moved here from ohio and they moved to cape canaveral and that's like where I did a lot of my growing up until my dad got pissed off because someone stole his wallet out of his garage and he was like mad because there are always like drunk men walking around his daughters because there's a bunch of strip clubs and bars around here. So anyways, then we moved like more inland, but I basically grew up here at Coke Beach and I fucking love it. <laughs> the amazing headstands live. Thank you. I, I also pride myself in my headstands. <laughs> People love clip compilations these days. It's funny because a lot of people, they're always like, oh, I, I haven't seen these clips. And like some of them are extremely popular clips. And I'm like, for instance, like how do you follow me and you haven't seen my you're really not that interesting clip? Like it's one of the most popular clips on Twitch. And there'll be people who follow me and they're like, yeah, I haven't seen that. I'm like, what? I mean, it's fine. Live about 20 minutes from here. I'm camping like 10 minutes from here, nice. Straighten my hair sometimes. Sarah, isn't your hair naturally straight? Oh, no, wait. Your hair's curly. I remember now. Love the truck. The cab is so nice. This cab is very nice. I didn't realize that, like, I got the bigger version of the Tundra, but this one's huge. I feel like there's so much room in this truck. Though sometimes, like, if I'm kind of sleepy, I feel like the truck is massive when I'm driving down the road. Like, I feel like people are so close to my vehicle, and I feel like if I just slightly veer off track that I'm just going to run them off the road with my big dick truck. I'm big dick daddy when I drive this truck, by the way. Get the at t up, put it on the charger, put the car on. Oh, I walked all the way back to the truck to put the at t thing on the charger, and then I didn't put it on the charger. Braxton, the sun's going down in like 30 minutes. Can I just chill? It's not gonna do me any good now. Y'all should get a secondary OP alternator for the Toyota to run all your big stuff. An alternator. You mean not like a power inverter, something else to charge that like runs off the battery? Ah, what am I standing on? Okay, sorry, I thought I was standing Just on something. Just in for it a quick like hello. Have a great night, Liv and Brax. Liv, yeah, love, pineapple Liv, menace. Death. It definitely does because like. For the last, there was, oh my god, my biggest stream ever, I think I had like 1,900 viewers. I was so close to hitting 2,000 viewers. I was shitting my pants. I was so fucking hyped, and I was streaming here at the beach, and all of a sudden, <laughs> my stream dropped, and I was like, are you shitting me? And it didn't just drop for a minute like sometimes it did. No, it dropped for like five minutes. It was just like the condos or something was blocking my signal or all the grains of sand like grabbed onto the data and didn't let me have it but yeah I dropped for like five minutes and when I came back I went from like almost 2,000 to like 300 viewers and I think for like the rest of the day I barely even got like half of the people back and it's just like I know it's just very frustrating because like you know, having like streams that pop off like that is like once in a blue moon. And then for it just to be like, you know, your stream could drop and clips could pl play and people would stay and maybe even more people would come or it drops and it literally says you're offline and people just go and find someone else. <laughs> ah, Treasure King! Thank you! Uh, thank you so much for your prime Treasure King! Guys, can we have some Liz Babs and Liz Loves for Treasure King? Thank you so much for giving me your prime. Just popped in for a quick hello. Thank you, Treasure King. I appreciate you so much. I hope you're having a lovely day. And I appreciate you. And I will be getting my sound alerts fixed soon. I have to, like, 
I've been like asking people how they have their sound alerts set up with the Scun Run backpack and no one seems to answer my question, like the actual question that I'm asking. They answer like it kind of confusing and like doesn't make any sense and I'm just like I don't think you understood the question I was asking but anyways I don't know how to get it set up yet so I don't have my sound alert set up but we do have better quality. <laughs> yes definitely Florida. We have all the palm trees and I know you're like well California has palm trees but do they have pretty sunsets with clouds? They don't have clouds. They don't have moisture. Just kidding. They sometimes do. But we actually have like our palm tree that you see all over Florida is like a shorter palm tree. We do have the tall California ones, but they're not as likely. Some guy's going to come over here and be creepy. Hello. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. He wasn't, he wasn't as creepy as he could have been. I thought he was going to come be creepy. He just told me that I was beautiful. I'll take that. <sighs> Clear waters on the other side of Florida. Hello. Live deaf compensating for a tiny penis. I have a fucking massive penis. I just don't get it out very often because if I got it out, it would intimidate you guys and you guys wouldn't be able to hang out with me because you guys wouldn't be able to relate. I have to be relatable, so therefore, I can't whip out my big dick. Obviously. Since you like Allison, you should get a Chevy. Chevy has an OP transmission called out. No, I am not getting a Chevy. No, no, no. I will keep my Tundra. Thank you. <laughs> larger alternator would let you run larger inverter. Well, normally I'm fine. You mean to straighten my hair? Is that what you're talking about? Because I have no problems charging anything. The only thing that I've mentioned that I haven't been able to, to use is my hair straightener, which I do know, Supercation, that you have a thing for that. So is that what we're talking about right now? Because if that's the case, I don't need to get a new truck to run a bigger power inverter to straighten my hair. What? <laughs> Optimal scene for starting alien invasion. I tried to make it to where you guys could see the sunset behind me, but I don't know if it's like pick picking it up very well. From Pensacola area, that's not far. Pensacola's close-ish, I think. I think it's like three or four hours north. Hi dog, hello, how are you? Do we send marriage proposal to P.O. Box? I don't actually have my P.O. Box anymore. Like when I started traveling, I felt like I probably wouldn't be able to check it enough. Um, I do have an email. If you want to send your marriage proposal to live6 at yahoo.com, I will read through it. Andy, LA is one big cloud. Yeah, one big cloud of pollution. I have a question. Why a Tundra and not an American brand or SUV less expensive? Well, I actually had an SUV. I had a Subaru Outback, but I sold it because I, so I was living on the road for like the last year with my Subaru Outback and then I had a rooftop tent on the top. But I decided that I wanted to like long term travel and so I decided to get like upgrade to a pull behind camper. And I was like super limited with my towing capacity for my Subaru. I think my towing capacity was like 3,200 or something. And most campers that I was finding were not in that range or they were just like little teardrops and they still didn't have like kitchens and stuff. And I was so over like, I just lived on the road for the past year without like a regular kitchen. All I wanted was a kitchen and just like a regular bed and like shower, you know, a shower sounds so lovely. So I bought a camper and I bought a big daddy dick truck because I wanted to be able to pull whatever I wanted and most trucks that I looked at didn't have um, that impressive of the towing capacity. However, the Tundra, I can tow like 7,000 pounds or is it 9,000? It's a lot. It tows my, oh, 9,000. It tows my camper and then I have like a lot extra. <laughs> Pineapple Minute! <laughs> Thank you so much for giving six subs in total in my chat. Thank you so much for the gifted sub to Supercation. Guys, can we have some Liz Dabs and Liz Loves for Pineapple Minute and the gifted sub to Supercation. Supercation, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're just chilling here. We just chilling. We were chilling at the beach, but uh, 
my internet decided to shit out, so it came back here, and now I'm just chilling here. I'm just chilling till the sun goes down, till I can't stream anymore. This is kind of my thing. You watch the VOD. I've been like, so last time I streamed, I think I titled it like, oh, I'm not, I'm not sick anymore, getting better or something. And then the day after that, I felt like shit. And I think it was from streaming. I think that the streaming made me feel like shit because I like pushed myself. I literally was like sick and doing yard work, which makes no sense, in the Florida heat. Um, but one has a little coral thing on it. Oh my God. So amazing. <laughs> what part of SoCal is this? Um, so I'm actually, I guess, more central. Yeah? I guess I'm in central Cal. The little command thing about the road trip. Ah, fuck! I'm clicking on links. Ugh. I'm trying to open chat on this phone. I really appreciate that. You're so kind. Jesus loves you. Did you hear what that old guy said? Uh, these, I think they're called like rooster jigs or rooster tails or something. Braxton actually caught a rainbow trout. It was his first fish that he's caught out of Florida. It was really cute. <laughs> we were so excited. Little lizard boy. Oh my God. Thank you so much for the so with Prime. Thank you for four months of support and kindness. Guys, we have some Liz Dabs and Liz Love for Little Lizard Boy. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. The boys, thank you. That's real quick. All right, chat. I guess we're going to go uh, to that way. Damn. I like how I was like, oh, I don't really feel like doing the beach today, but yeah. I was like, oh, there's like these two events happening down by the beach today. So we go to the first one, the first event, and it wasn't what we thought it was. So then we came down to this party. What is the water down? Hold up. Florida. I am in Florida. I love Florida. So accessory of today on your ear live. one become this fucking unlucky Braxton? How does one become this? Be Can you grab the hamburgers out of my hand? Just not careful with no, your what stuff, the, what man. The, the, the,
uh, your profile. <laughs> Those are absolutely loaded questions. How are these loaded? I am a non-biased person just asking. I'm just inquiring about the minds of men these days. I like to keep up with what's going on. <laughs> I'm out of the dating scene, Chad. I don't know what's happening. You know how long it's been since I've dated? <laughs> I don't know how this works. Mostly I use my worst pickup lines to like just get bitch slapped. I think I'm gonna die of heat exhaustion. <sighs> Holy shit, snacks. Wait, did you see my flip? Luna, how are you, beautiful girl? <laughs> How's life? Guys, I just posted a picture on my Instagram with Luna the Lyric. You should go check it out and follow her on Instagram because she posts really good stuff too. And on Twitch. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Holy fuck, dude! I Hit it! Put you guys higher! The fucking waves are fucking me up! Sixty degrees? No, not sixty. The other one's like a lot tighter. This one definitely hurt. Well, you should have your matches my outfit, and I love it. Okay, anyways, one second, one second. I'm switching you guys over to a different tripod. Um, hello. Okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, one second. One second. I'm getting it. Don't you worry. All right, there we go. All right. Come and help Braxton carry me out of the tree because I was so scared. I think, I don't know how I climbed it. I honestly don't. And then the second time I climbed a tree near my neighborhood and I got stuck. Like I was either gonna drop my stream stuff or I was gonna fall and I couldn't decide which one I cared about more. And so, um, there was this guy walking by on the road and I was like, hey, can you help me? And I was just wanted him to hold something for me and he literally looked at me and kept walking as if I was like a crazy fucking lady. So, yeah. See how far I can come up to the camera that you guys can see me. All right, chat. Everyone knows that oil makes things more slippery. Fatty oil in this bitch. Sorry. <laughs> All right, all right. Oh my God, there's soap in my eyes. Motherfucker.
I got makeup under my eyes and I look ratchet. I just got my hair done and it's already fucked up. Wah, 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 wah. I wish pod set up like in a way that I just don't even know how to <laughs> move it. But I had it set up earlier, like farther back, so you guys could see this really pretty bridge and like all the surroundings. But I feel really weird when I'm like super far from the camera because I just, I don't know, I feel like I can't talk to you guys, like you can't hear me or something. <laughs> I, it feels very impersonal. <laughs> Impersonable. What's your favorite color should have paid? I got all the colors Yay. actually. You can have any option you want. They're all here. <laughs> that guy was a weirdo. So he walked up. Love your energy. How are you so happy? Cause I'm I'm here with you guys. I have such a fun job. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that guy like walked up over here, and he like came up with his camera out. No, going to get all sad. Live six is truly a bubbly street. <gasps> Thank you. I try, Chad. We've been needing to do laundry. Our goal is to do laundry tonight. We have like two bags full. Normally, I have not seen in a while. Mexico is still all sketch. See, I don't know where to go there. It's hard. How are you doing today? I'm good. X How the fuck do I say that? FX Air. How are you? Closer to working than I ever thought. No, I did it earlier, I swear. So I can do it, and the wave said bet. I just gotta wait for the waves to calm down. Ow! Alright. Why are the waves so big? That night, what? What? But what? 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 Hey, can you stop touching the you. walls? Alright, now you gotta get her out. Gotta ah! Ah! Are you coming or what? No, One, two, three. Ah! Oh my gosh. Who's got him? Oh, fuck it.
five, bitch. Ah! One.